love is in the air at the Big Brother house. This season, showmance could take on a whole new meaning. Welcome to Big Brother Till Death Do You Part. I am Sharon and I am 23. Jacob and I dated on and off for close to about 12 years. We grew up together. He followed me home in eighth grade. We became friends throughout high school. And then he joined the military and then went overseas for a while. And then when he came home, we kind of ended it. I'm Jacob and I'm 23. This was the relationship that had the potential to go the distance, but I ultimately cheated on her. I'm Jen. And I am her boyfriend, Ryan. Jen and I have been dating nine months total, but we have been living together for about seven months. Ryan is definitely a teddy bear. What, what you see, this big boned guy, he's got such a soft heart. He's so sensitive. We're both somewhat jealous people. Jeez, that's hot, Ryan. Ooh, could be some fireworks if you get ugly. But you know, Ryan knows to trust me that I would, would never do anything to embarrass him. Well, I definitely think one of these days we'll be married. Alex. Yo. I now pronounce your soulmate to be... Amanda. James. James. Yeah. Meet your new soulmate. Chelsea. Oh, wow! Natalie. And Matt. Wow! Jen. <laughs> You've been found to be most compatible with Parker. <laughs> what? Oh Joshua. What's up, Julie? Your love match is Neil. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Jacob and Sharon. Good luck. That's a cute couple, you guys. Go hold some hands. Now, before I pair up the last two couples, I need to tell you that all the beds are now taken. What? When I call out your names, you'll claim your sleeping bags from the storage room. Oh. When we were on the couch, Adam was there and Ryan was there. I was like, please, God, please let it be Ryan. I mean, please let it be Ryan. Ryan, say hello to Allison. <laughs> hello. <laughs> it's me and you, Ma. <laughs> Do not call me Ma. Where did someone like get that this was my soulmate when I said tall, dark, and handsome? Oh my god! Relax over there, Mom. Mom, don't call well, you're me. You're gonna hear it now. You're at to have it. Don't, don't like okay. It. I, I, I know I'm you don't like my attitude. Bit, okay? so stop. No, I'm gonna be really honest. Don't call me Mom. Okay. That is like okay. such a turn off. <laughs> Sheila is absolutely like no personality, no joking, like deathly afraid to even be near me. I mean, she's busted and beat up anyway, you know? And she's looking to go off on her and her face and tell her how it is. Listen. Just seriously, as Adam. Said, as much as Adam, I don't like it, you don't like it, OK? No, but Adam, but don't, it don't make an mom. attitude over it. No, I'll, 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 I'll get a punch. I want to get right okay, to you now. You know, we can work together to win it, OK? I understand. So stop and chill and stop bitching. You? Who cares? No, how old are you? Stop complaining. No, how old are you? So it doesn't matter how old I am. 20 years yes, old. Yes, it does. 30 years old. Okay, well, it's an insult. I think we're older than you, okay? Okay, it's okay. Good. Then why are you calling them off? I'm not, because I take offense with it. Why take offense with it? There's no, there's no insult taken. Okay? It's okay. all right. Smuck okay, on the face. Down. I need some alka I swear it has nothing to do with okay. you. It's just this whole thing just. What's like, up, brother? Okay. I swear to God, I feel sick. Maybe I'm shallow. House guests? The power is up for grabs like never before. It's time for your first competition. Remember, you will be competing as couples. 
and the stakes are higher than ever. That's because one couple will win the sole power to evict another couple in just a matter of hours. Evict? We have our first power couple. Yeah, but am I like right? Really? What's up? Are you? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, 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 all the qualities that I see about you, I mean, yeah. Really? I mean, I feel like I you mean, like I, a little more like. No, no, I mean, I, I guess like, I, I'm a little rough around the edge, but I like a good girl. Maybe, I don't know, it compliments me. Yeah, yeah, I'm total I, that. Yeah. Total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt a real connection with Ryan, not just on a friendship level, but he's just a very deep person. I mean, I'm sneaky wild. You're sneaky. I can definitely see that. Trust y'all, because y'all are real, but the only other guy that I trust in this house would be Alex. Alex, dude, I, I'm on the same page, man. You want to stir stuff up. That's something that, you know, brings enjoyment to this house, and that's what I like to do. I definitely like to turn the chicken up. You know, the worst people of the whole game got power couple. I don't, I don't trust him. He's in here for the money, and that's it. Backstabber. Wait till I get HOH. His ass is out. Peace out. Peace. Yeah. Parker's a snake. Jacob said that he doesn't trust Parker, and I went along too because I don't, I don't want our secret getting, getting out there. I'll tell you, like, what I've been hearing. Why Parker's I mean, a snake? You want to know why? He's my partner. Like. I mean, and, and hello. I'll I tell you why. Parker seems gutless, gutless, Relentless. heartless, heartless. Heart you, think, you think heartless? Jacob was like, people are talking about Parker, him being a snake. And that makes me a target now. If someone thinks my partner's a snake. Everybody's just saying he's a snake. I just want to let you know what's going oh, on. Oh, man. Jacob telling all this to Jen. I don't know why Jacob wouldn't have suspected that Jen wouldn't go tell her partner. Uh, it was a total bonehead move. That's Contact. Oh, wait. Oh, man. Don't lose it. Close your eye. Go like that. One faker. Now nah, she's going to the bathroom, dude. So I walked inside. I pretended like something was wrong with my contact and I needed to get solution. And I was talking to Joshua about it. Everyone's telling me that they think Parker's a snake. Get here now. We've got a situation. I just went outside and Jacob oh, told yeah. me that everyone's talking about you and how they think you're a snake. Oh, <gasps> for real? Uh-huh. I just want to go outside right now. Let's you want me to go with you? Oh my god, confrontation already. I'm not going to put up with that, man. I just... What have you got, man? Hush, hush, hush. What have you got, man? What it is, what it is. It's cold out here. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> so, I tell you, I tell you what's cold as hell. Korea is cold as. I'll tell you what's cold. The fact that you didn't think that my partner was gonna come back and tell me that you think people think I'm a snake. Who told you that? Yeah, he wants to know who, and I said you didn't tell me who. I don't think it's my business. It is your business. No, it's if you not. want to sit there, I just it told is her. Your business. I told her that people are walking around here thinking you're a snake. You know what? What's, what's so, wrong with so that? Who? What's wrong with bringing something to so, your attention? So who? Your friends are calling you a oh, snake. So who is it? Why, why don't you go out and find out for yourself? No. Should I wake up everybody in the house? Because I will do that. Do. Call them out here. OK, well, let's do that. I'm sorry I woke y'all up, but this just needs to be addressed right here. I will not tolerate people talking you know what I mean? If any one of y'all have a problem with me, damn it, address that with me right now. You think I'm a snake? Say that. Address me with it. Holler at me. I'm, I'm right here. Who was it? What are you talking about? I'm a, okay, I'm a, I'll name names and everything. I don't care. He was telling my partner that he heard that people think I'm a snake. So I'm like, who was it? This I won't speak on it. Who said it? Call them out. Call them out. Save yourself. Who did you overhear? Who did you overhear? Call them out. Call them out. Who did you overhear? 
sound the I'm, alarm. I'm not going to be the one to send somebody home because they caught Parker a snake. For somebody, somebody said it. Who, who said it? Why, why do I have to be the one that says, you did it? Why can't they man up? I feel like he just said it and doesn't have the back it up. If you don't want to address who said it, don't like, oh, close keep I overheard it. Now let him know. I overheard somebody called Parker Snake. But you're looking well, like a liar. What? I'm looking like a liar. Yeah, yeah you're, you're looking like a liar. Word. You're looking like the one that's <laughs> no. up. Because you're not going to be a man and stand up and call any of these out. Nothing against you, but if you're going to throw something on the table, you better back your shit up. If, I, if, if you guys want to think I'm the one that said it. What about it, your partner that that's it. in this with you? You do not care about. You don't care. I don't mean, care. You don't care about her. You guys can look at me. I overheard somebody say who, Parker. Who? 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 I got blindsided. I hear I'm half asleep. He is getting attacked, which then turns into me getting attacked because we're together. With evictions coming up, the target went from here to here with us. Is it Alex or Matt? No. You're forgetting the situation that I'm in right now. That's why you need to tell me. Jacob and I are a package deal. If the target's on him, it's on me. I will do whatever I can to get the target less on him. Sharon, who was it? Not their talking. Who was it? <laughs> Ryan? Yeah. Ryan. I was like, well, who was it? Who was it? And then um, she wouldn't say. And I was like, think about the situation that you're in right now. You know what I mean? So I said, who is it? And then she, you know, I asked her, was it Ryan? And like, she wouldn't say. You couldn't get any read from her facial expressions she, or anything? Yeah, she was kind of shaking With her him. head, yes, towards Ryan. And he's the best thing. Sharon was like, I don't think Ryan likes you. Because you know, you guys have a really hard time. So I was like, I'm going to talk. Maybe you do need to hang out with Ryan a little bit more. Yeah. I've wanted to keep Ryan and I a secret, but now that Parker's thinking about putting him up, I, I just can't do it anymore. I'm going to have to tell him. I'm going to have to. I have to tell you now. are dating and have been for almost a year. I can't send him home. Holy <laughs> scandalous. So we are, we're the big secret this season. A couple living together with all this temptation. You brought it up, I had to tell you. Don't get me wrong, I'm not, not I'm hiding it from you. I was just waiting for the right time. Don't worry about it, you're Forever. still my ace. Now in the end, me and you are winning and Ryan knows that. I will always I have your you back, you know, always and I, that's what I'm going to tell Ryan later when we end up talking. No matter what, I'm in this to win the game. Yeah, we have a relationship, but I'm here to win. I want to win. Oh, would I have a problem putting Ryan and Allison up as a pawn? Hell no. So, but I don't want to do that to him and me, yeah. and that's, that would be bad karma, dude. Okay. Bad karma. So, you have to promise me that will not leave us, won't. Yeah. Do you think we have a shot at this? Do we have a shot? At we, winning? Are you kidding me right now? Oh. We don't have a shot. We have it in the bag. I never thought. We just need to do. We need to be really strong. And... Wait, hold on. How you doing, buddy? Uh, yeah. Little... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Parker knows. I had to tell him because he wanted to put you and Allison up. Yeah, I couldn't believe Jen told Parker about the two of us dating so quickly. It was just. For, hey, it wasn't nothing personal because I thought you were awesome, but like I need you're you guys. You're too strong. You guys You're are strong. strong. Nobody cool. knows you though. You, I, I trust you, you dude. Oh, so, I got gotcha. y'all. I know that. I had to tell Allison about Jen and I dating. It wouldn't be fair to her for Jen and Parker and myself to know and for me to leave her out. <sighs> There's something very, very important that's... What? Is it bad? Oh, you're going to freak me out. I know it. So, here's the thing. Parker and Jen, we're at the top of their list for them to evict. I know it. I know it. Here's the little twist. Jen does not want it because me and her are dating. 
You and her what? We're dating. Are you serious? Like not in months. Wait a minute, you what? I'm a little shocked right now. Yeah. I'm a little like, yeah. Oh my God, oh my God. Are you with me right now? No, I swear to God. Swear on your mom. I swear on my mom. We're still teammates here. We still have each other's back, you know I mean? Yeah, but your girlfriend is here. How would you, like, how would you feel if I said, my boyfriend's here? My girlfriend's sharing a bed with another guy. You know how hard this is on me? Wow. I have such mixed feelings about the whole thing. We're still gonna go all the way. I feel like everything we talk about strategy-wise is gonna go back to Jen, you know? No, me and you are still, we don't have to consult with them on anything. And I have to like admit, like, I think that you're so cool and like, I'm kind of like bummed, you know, too. Yeah. Like, you're so cool, you know? I'm not happy that they're dating at all. Ryan would be better off with someone like me who is less jealous and catty and, you know, needs to be the center of attention constantly. But unfortunately, like, we're gonna have to evict. Uh, Jacob and sorry, baby Sharon. Sharon. I'm so sorry, Sharon. We love you. Congratulations, Amanda and Alex. You are the first head of basketball couple. <laughs> the first one on the wall. Hint, hint. Jen, what? Why is that weird? The wall. Jen is the cockiest person in the house right now. Like, I didn't want to be vocal in front of everyone, but I was livid. What a bitch move. I'm just not playing right now. Like, I really, I'm not gonna play at all today. Like, I don't care. Hey, hey. So, so pretty yeah. much what you're going to do is just spill the beans. First of all, I never said that. No, but, but that's what you're hinting at. No, I'm not. Saying. No, I'm not hinting at that. I'm saying I'm not playing. I didn't want to play their game. They're not going to bully me around and tell me how I'm going to play this. I'm not going to, like, Why I'm not doing anything. Why are you going to give up so easily, though? Don't give up, I know, baby. I don't want you to give up, baby. Bitch, you better get your mind right, because if you don't, this is going to come out. Being very childish because, like, you know, when you're a child, you know, you don't things don't go your way, you just say, Oh, I don't no, want to play anymore. That's not even close to I don't want to play anymore. Things are just getting so twisted. What is being expected of me right now? It's just not, I'm not gonna do it. Oh my gosh, I'm done. Oh my gosh. Allison is definitely a taking time bomb. It's just not hard, just shut your mouth and everything will be good. Just shut up, keep your mouth shut, that's all you gotta do. If Miss Thang wants to try to play, we can definitely play. So that way, if she ever does decide to spill the beans, we'll already have our tracks covered. They'll already be put on to it. Dude, that's a great idea. I knew I was blessed to have a great partner. We need to definitely uh, tell everybody about Jen and Ryan's secret before Allison just spilled the beans on everything. Jen and Ryan are dating. Wow. No fucking way. Jen and Ryan are dating. Really? I just wanna, just wanna chat with you. What's up? Well, first off, I already know your little situation you're in. They just told us, and that's fine. It sucks that, you know, my partner doesn't even come to me and tell me that he's gonna go tell everybody what's up. That he didn't sucks. tell you that he was. You got. They were gonna release the information. No, he didn't tell me that. Oh. But it was like they begged me to not say anything. And then they go around and say everything to everybody. You know what I mean? I don't want you to go home. I like to. I I, I figure me and you can use each other towards the end. We're from the same but place. Would you I mean, mind just like coming with me like right now to, do to what? talk to some like because I'm like not like. So you obviously told everybody. Yep, because you were gonna let it out of the bag. No, anyways. I, was, I was never gonna. I was not. I was never gonna say a word. That's not what everyone else thought. I told me if you leave that you're gonna spill the beans. So we I just, think, you know, and you've I, had no trust in me. You've been going out and, and making all these decisions with them. Partner. You've been making every decision. Liar! Without me Don't lie. Not Do not, not lie anymore. Chill out. Get over chill. yourself. Chill. 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 You are. Jen, you're gonna be. Sad about yourself. You, know, no. you are you. This game does not revolve around you, Allison. Oh, it doesn't. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> but a lot of people saw your two colors. A lot. Okay. 
Jen, you are the most disrespectful person. I you are absolutely I don't ridiculous. Care. I don't care. I don't care what the I'm think about me. Do you think me. I care this what you think about okay, me? Okay, Chris, we, the, why, why are you downplaying me? <laughs> what happened? Jen and Ryan are dating. So that's what the whole situation was. Oh, you got to be kidding and me. This is, this is my... Oh, my God. I'm like the most naive, gullible freaking person. Okay, Sheila is obviously the closest person in this house. Did I tell you a word? No, I, I, I can't. I don't think you did. Her. That's what I wanted to tell you. you know? Do what you want to do. Oh, that's what you wanted to tell me, but she said, I'm not going to tell you anything until I'm out of here. She oh. was going to whisper it to someone. No, I wasn't. No, no I wasn't. So wasn't. Yeah, I Jen. Think. Jen, because that was, I, she begged me. I swear to God, I wouldn't lie about that. There's no okay, reason for fine. me to. Okay, fine, all right, I'll give you that one. Exactly. I swear to God. We were both bummed about our situation. Allie was with Ryan, and Ryan's hooked up with Jen, and I'm bummed because I'm with Adam. We can spend every waking minute together. Yeah. Yeah, we're lesbians. That was the <laughs> twist. We're doing each other. Sheila and I, you know, this is Big Brother. We decided to make our own rules. We can be anyone we want in this house, and we decided to be lesbians. <laughs> this has really been my girlfriend for five years. That's right. Like, is there any rule in Big Brother House that we can't be lesbians? I love it. I gotta play this out. We'll be lesbian lovers. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's see, here we go. Here we go. Hey, Joshua. <laughs> I gotta tell you, there was another twist of story. We're gonna tell you now, okay? See, we feel bad because it's like we promised and Not we're gonna go to straight reveal to hell. this. Are you ready? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Why do you think we've been so close? Y'all hit it off. I don't know. What do you think? Don't tell me, like, what. <laughs> but we didn't want you to know. Oh, my God. <laughs> you didn't find it weird at all? You didn't see it? Please don't tell anybody. I'm dead serious. You're. No. I'm so. Freaked out right now. I can't tell you. Why? Why? You are. Why? Why? Why are you freaked no, out about us? I just us? would never. I never pegged that in a million years. This is pretty much my reaction. <gasps> are you really that shocked? Why I'm do you in think total, are you so why shocked? Do you think I'm been, in complete disbelief. Why to be do you honest. think we've been like completely like? Why do you think I have been so like physically ill that I have to sleep with a man right now? I don't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Un. Believable. Yeah. <laughs> I never, never picked up on any of the warning signs. I didn't even realize that they could be lesbians and be together. We hold Josh because it's like telling the daily news. So we just figured that he would go ahead and tell everybody. I've got to go talk to my boyfriend go real talk quick. To your <laughs> Ready for the twist? Tell me. I don't know what you're talking about. Allison and Sheila. Okay. They've been partners. They're lesbians. Shut what? up. They're telling no, me. They're telling shut me. up. Are you kidding? Shut up. Are you listen. kidding? Are you going to listen to me or not? I'm listening. I think it's true. <laughs> That's why she wears those coats. That's why she wears those running boots all the time. <laughs> We're partners. You two. Yeah. Yeah. We okay. adopted. So we have a son. They're in love. It's adorable. It's adorable. So that's it. That's it. We're just gonna, whatever. You know, cause... Yeah. And you know what? With that attitude, you're probably gonna get further. Yeah. I think so, yeah. too. You know what? I think I we're gonna win. I think that this could definitely work in our benefit, for sure. This could be a very big power move. We have nominated Ryan and Allison and Jen and Parker for eviction this week. Big Brother called me into the diary room to inform me and the rest of the house that Neil will be leaving the game due to an urgent personal matter. Because this is a couple's game, I now need a replacement partner. Since Jacob and Sharon have been sequestered and have had no contact with the outside world since being evicted, I was allowed to choose one of them as my new partner. Let's see. Jacob, who is basically hated in the house, or Sharon, his partner, it was kind of a no-brainer. I went with Sharon. Are you gonna rub my back? What are you gonna do for me? Alex, he's been mean to me. I don't know. We just, we're, we're very different when it comes to relationships. No one will rub my back. I'll rub your Good back. Yeah. Just rub my back. I get frustrated with her because she flaunts her stuff and it just, it just bothers me. Why don't you even like me? All I want is for you to like me. <laughs> Shut up. 
You're such a loser. Am I? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but my own partner won't freaking massage me. Because he doesn't know what's good. Oh, okay. Mm, that was a good one. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult for us to control ourselves. When you go without having sex for two weeks, it can be a little frustrating. Gosh, I'm hard again. <laughs> it's it's so hard to control our. Uh, you know, we're we're human. We have uh, we have needs. It was the breaking point. It was like you know, it was just it was a point to where you couldn't really control ourselves anymore. Yeah, I think I'll do it. I'm gonna go in the bathroom right now and do it. Just do it. Really? It's only gonna be like 20 seconds. Had to be done. <laughs> that was bad. Put the Occupy sign on. I hear Jan. Uh, 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 uh. Like, <laughs> damn. Too bad I can't. <laughs> One minute. Fifteen seconds, actually. <laughs> it was a little disturbing because then I knew that she's got to get her funky ass back in the bed with me. If I went POV, should I take? Should I use it? You want me to use it on you? Yeah. You do? Definitely. Okay. As I will. I'll stir up the pot. I know you would. I fear no I fear nobody in this house. Like as far and, and we shouldn't have to. We run this, man. Me telling Paka that I'd use the veto was absolutely just to pacify him. He causes so much drama as it is, and if I were to save him, it would just throw like an automatic bullseye right on my chest. First power of veto on that. As far as I'm concerned, you're getting off. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because if I need that favor <clears throat> down the line, you know I'm going to call in my chip. Uh, you know you're my BFF in here. <laughs> Wonderful. But as far as I've been hearing around the house, if they left it, you're all set, regardless. Yeah, I'm sure of it. I know, I know but for I wanna, a fact. I want to guarantee. Yeah, that's true. I yeah. know. <clears throat> I'm going to talk with the wife. You wife know how that works. Yeah. You know, husband wants season tickets, wifey wants ballet tickets, hmm. you know. I think it would be in both of our best interests that if we're not going to be physical with each other and get emotional with each other, that we shouldn't with anyone in the house. Okay, great. Okay. Do you have feelings for someone? I told you I have feelings for you, but it just doesn't seem like it's working. I mean, I like to cuddle and stuff. I'm not oh. like the girl that's... Fine, right, but I'm not, I'm not looking for anything. Because I don't want to ruin what I came in here for. I want to be true, honest, so that you know how I feel. You all right? No, I'm mad. Why are you mad? I don't know. I just think that's fine. You're mad at me? I'm being honest with you? Watching this right now. 
course he is. He was probably thinking I was going into Parker's room or something. That's really weird. I can't sleep. Is he watching? Probably. He said, if we're not going to be physical with each other, then I don't think we should be physical with anyone else in the house. He's just basically hating on me. I'm going to hold my tongue. You are? And it's going to be okay. He is so jealous. I know he's watching. That sucks for me, because he's definitely going to be going to get me out of here. Yeah, we're going to need Matt to take us off. We've decided to not use the power of veto. I really feel like the odds are stacked against me right now. So now I'm going to do whatever it takes to stay in this game. I'm not, I don't want to campaign against Ryan, but I just want to tell you one thing. I feel I deserve it more than Ryan does. Ryan is also racist. What? Ryan is also racist. What? Please tell me not. Don't repeat that. I'm not, I, I shouldn't even bad mother. You're not. That's just, that's what it is, and there are a lot of people like that. I've been a one black guy in my entire life. It makes Ryan sick that I was ever with a black guy. I know, you told us that. Yeah, yeah. Just rude. It was about that outfit that I wore with like the leggings. Just she real. just was like, I think you, I thought you looked ridiculous in that outfit. I'm like, I go, Jen, I don't care what you think of me. Hey, she said like all this that's just so like. Such girl. Ugh. Girl no, it's not girl. You know why? Because I would we never do that. You don't hear other dudes talking. Dude, yeah. Like you won't hear it's me talking about either. nobody. You know what, Ryan? Why don't you leave the house? If you do, I don't know what's gonna happen. But I'm gonna tell you this right now. Where do you find out? You don't even have a clue, do you? Oh. About just what's going on. You oh. just. Uh, what do you mean? Just a lot of stuff has been said. Something that Jan has said about me. Something that was said about you, but I will not talk to you about it until after eviction. I kind of feel like I should know right now, though. No, you shouldn't. Trust me, you shouldn't. I, you don't think I should have the right to defend myself? No, it's not even about you defending yourself. <clears throat> Trust me, you will be too. Is she saying some that, you know, is not true about me, and she's saying some to make me look bad to try to sway people against me? I think that's something I should know about you, though, you know? It's only right. I don't understand why that you... Because it's ugly. What you say exactly. not. Yeah, tell me. She told me when I was washing dishes that you were a racist. She and said that, straight up that I'm a racist. Yes, she did. Why would she say that? You have to wonder how low people will stoop to get what they want. I mean, it's it's amazing to me. She want to throw you under the bus. I'm not a racist at all. You're I'm gonna not go a racist. In there and tell this is her? pissing me off. You're going to go in there and tell her now she's going to come and get in my face? No, she's not going to come get in your face. Yeah, there's something I'm going to have to pick a bone with you about. I'm going to hit the fan, dude. What? Yeah. Why? Because your partner's trying to get you against no, me? No, no, it's not even my partner. That's what's funny. What? Just tell me. No. I'm going to hit the fan. What are you talking about? What are you so mad about? There's something that needs to be told to me. Um, by who? By somebody. That, Just tell me. And I'm sure it's going to come out. And I don't even know if I'm going to want to talk to you when it what? We're going to find out. We're not going to let this game but affect our relationship. It's, you no, know, it's going to. If you're talking behind my back naturally, making me look like a bad No, absolutely yeah. not. I've never mm -hmm. done anything behind your back. Okay. Never. You haven't said anything bad behind well, my back. Absolutely well, not. You are my okay. boyfriend. I've, I'm well, on the block right now because of you. Supposedly it's a pretty bad thing. You know it, so you're going home. Sorry. 
nice. That you're saying that right now? And how are you gonna know if it's true or not? You're gonna believe somebody else over your own girlfriend? I'll tell you if I said well, it or know, not. Well, you know, it seems like a pretty bad thing. I don't know why this person would make anything up. Oh, it's probably Sheila then. Was it the was, was it a racist thing? Could be, I don't know. Because I said you might have a problem with me and Parker being partners because you have a race issue. I have a race issue. I said I dated a black guy and he hates that fact, but that's all I said to her about that. Well, we'll see. And then this morning, Go. she did say in the bathroom in front of all of us girls that he was prejudiced. Parker, I'm not a racist. I'm not a so, it's fine. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm not a racist. So I got plenty of black friends and everything like that. I'm not. I don't want you to think that. That's fine. You know, no, that's what your girlfriend said. Mm -hmm. like, you cool. have to worry I'm about not, Parker. Don't worry about it. You're making me look bad. I swear to God. That's I was fine. gonna. I was gonna tell you guys after the event. I didn't. I never hey. said he was racist. Nope. Don't you dare. Okay. Don't I'm gonna talk dare. calmly. I never said he was racist. I said he had race issues with me dating a black guy. Ryan is also racist. Don't try to break me and him up, because this is, this, I never said you that. You said, said he was racist. He was I not said, happy about you being with Parker. Okay. I never said he was you a racist. You did say you that. You said that. I didn't I never say said that. He was a racist. I, I know what I heard. I told you. I'm not deaf. I know what I heard. Okay, and I told you that he had issues. We're working through it. Everything is but fine why now. would you tell me something like that? That's your freaking boyfriend. He, he'll admit it. He doesn't like the fact Isn't that I was with a black guy. he's on the block and ready to get evicted, and you're on the block? I, you knew He's you were not a be racist, on the block and, he, and I would be the first person. Too. I'm I will just be the saying. first person to absolutely well, say that. I'm telling you what I heard. I know what you said. Today. And you can make your own opinion on it. He's got plenty of black friends back home. Nobody for a second questioned whether Ryan was a racist or not. Did I not say that? Yes, words? you did. In my mind that he is not a racist. So I have no clue why she would say something like do that. Do you not, not the do national? Do not see that. Oh, she's going to another. It does yeah, not you're messing with my life him. now, man. Yeah, you know, you're you are. using this as a ploy to get yeah. their vote or something, you know. Oh, with my absolutely. life now making me look like absolutely yeah. not. I said that's why, why they would you say that? It's messed up. Like I think that's so disgusting. Okay, so give me and Ryan in a fight. I don't care. You guys are no, gonna make this up. Is all do I need to know. Do. Jen is definitely a born liar. I think she actually thrives off of it and gets off off of it. Ryan really does love her, and it's really sad that she doesn't understand how good she has it. I told you that's life exactly now. what I. You're with my life. I told you that's exactly what I said. With my life now. Outside this, this ain't even about Dallas. This is outside. Exactly. It's disgusting. No, it yes, disgusting. It's, it's yes, disgusting. It's disgusting. Yes, it is. Oh, boom. Stop. Okay? No, it this is. This is between me and him, you not you. You know what? I've known this You so are the... What do you have anything to do with this? This is between me and him. And I said it to her. I never said it to you. Ryan's my partner. Okay, can I talk to you now? Well, we're going to leave you in peace. Okay. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. All right. The most important thing is my relationship with Ryan. It overpowers the game any day. You're a pretty bad person, Jen. Yeah. Let's make this short, because I really don't have much to say to you. That it's, what do you mean you don't have much to say to you? I really don't have much to say to you. You thrown me under the bus. You've made me look like a horrible racist I did person. not. This goes on way beyond this house. That was, that was what, like do you a really, Do you really need this game that bad? You're going to f*** us up no, for, you know, for our not. relationship? Well, you know, that's what's happening. You must want this game really bad. Whatever, I'm done. I'm no, done. I'm stay done. here. You know what, Jen? No, I'm you done. stay here I'm and talk done. to me. Oh, no, because, you Listen know, I really to me. Don't have much Sit. To say to you. Well, don't I... say that you're done. Stop. Okay? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I just said you didn't agree with interracial relationships. Do not worry about that. Jen and Ryan, it is no secret now that the two of you have been dating for 10 months, but tonight, one of you will be saying goodbye to the other for what could be almost three months. Jen, is there anything you'd like to say to Ryan? I just want to tell Ryan that I don't have any regrets in this game. Um, I'm glad I put myself out there and, you know, ultimately went on the block for you. I know you respect that, and so does America, and I love you with all my heart, and I can't wait to see you. By a vote of three to one, Jen and Parker... You are evicted from the Big Brother house. What would the majority rather lose for a week? A, eating utensils. B, drinking cups. The majority answered B, drinking cups. Congratulations, Chelsea and James.
You guys are the winners. Alex and Amanda, go ahead and hand over the key to the HOH bedroom. I was gonna say is that not gonna be on the block. Oh, I won't? Yeah. Thanks. Likewise to you. I promise you that. Contemplating our decision to make up the lie about being lesbian lovers, I was, you know, definitely thinking that it might be an, a good idea for us to, you know, come clean because two couples have been kicked out, you know, based on knowing each other. We sat here last night and we were dying because we wanted to tell you this has nothing to do with that you are HOH. It has nothing to do with it. We've made up this story. We made that story up. Telling Chelsea was a huge risk. Anytime you lie in this game, not a good thing, and everybody remembers it. Listen, we're, we feel horrible. It's like, how long can we go with this? What's going on? Okay, remember the night I was leaving? Well, Sheila suggested that we just make up a lie that we're lesbians, okay? Okay? So, we wanted you to, and, and Chelsea and everyone to go tell everybody before I left, and that never happened. Because you told us not to. We wanted to just make it through the eviction to tell you the truth that we are. I don't know Sheila. Sheila doesn't know me. Why would you even make that up? And I really just wanted to go out with like a bang. I'm so like confused constantly. right now. Just let you know. After Sheila and Allison basically told me they were lesbians and now they're not lesbians, it doesn't really sit very well with me. It makes me a little uneasy. When I learned the truth about Sheila and Allison, I went back to my original thought of Sheila. She's a giant bitch. Allison and I. Allison and I were hanging out outside, and out of nowhere, Allison said she had to go to the diet room, and she immediately ran into the house. Someone there, please. I think I'm having an allergic reaction. My throat is closing. And I think I need an epi tent. Please, I'm like, my throat's really closing right now. Girl, I don't I need sugar really bad. Oh yeah, you can't have food. Nope, and I'm hypothetical. I'm Tammy, I'm a nurse. What do you think you're having a reaction to? I don't know. You want to do the epi tent? Yeah. Do you to... I just found it in Anybody got any juice or milk? Here, go get some juice. Yeah. Right here. Here. Go get a glass. Go get a glass. Get a glass. We're having a glass. Or get a bowl. By a vote of three to zero, Alex and Amanda, you've been evicted from the Big Brother house. Which author said, the course of true love never did run smooth? Sharon. A. Shakespeare. That is correct. Who would you like to eliminate? Allison. Sharon again. C. Goethe. That is correct. Who would you like to eliminate? Um, Sheila. Oh, Sharon. Dostoevsky. It, Dostoevsky is correct. All right, you're the winner of the ladies round. Business. Oscar Ryan. Wilde. I'm sorry? Oscar Wilde. Incorrect. It is Goethe. You've been eliminated. Ryan, step down. Joshua. E, none of the above. That is correct. Oops. Joshua. That is going to be B, Oscar Wilde. You are correct, and congratulations. The two of you do not need to face off. You both won. You are the new head of household couple. They took us off right away when they got the question. Look at these ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Well, I bust in with Sharon and then she bust. <laughs> Too late. I know that, Josh. Like, I don't know that. Well, then get the out of my room. Out much, of your well, room? Don't be around me then, bitch. I'm going to make your life so much hell, really? you'll never believe it. Really? Yes. Like how? Let's see. Your ugly skank from one thing, and that dress is so tired, I can't wait for everyone now. She's going to be like, she's wearing that horrible thing again. That's just the starter. Then I'm going to go into the whole thing. Your ugliest one in the house, hands down. Josh, Josh, chill. She attacked me first. What can I say? It's fine. It's fine. Don't provoke me. <laughs> don't tell her to provoke me. I didn't want to put that up in my face. Let me just point it this close to my face. Of course, I can't. What did you say? Is that this monster? I have no idea. I have no idea what he's talking about. Like, no clue. He's on his power trip right now. Totally. Hey, what'd she say to you to, to piss you We're off so bad? She was like, oh, she's just in our way and just flirting around, just being her little stuck up snotty self. Just, uh, I mean, told she attack you personally, or I mean. Just her whole look and her attitude around me, I can't stand. I think Josh is psychotic. This is the second time he, he exploded on Amanda. Go! You're a total bitch! I would times? slap the of you if I was a girl Tell right me. now. No, you're too <laughs> ugly, horse face. Get back to the stable. Giddy up! Giddy up! Woo. You know, I pretty much have no respect for him now. The lesbian thing. The thing about being gay is you don't out any other gay person. Right. It's like, to me, it's, right. it's, it's, a as, no -no. it's as high as the Bible. Right. And so to me, I took it very personal. I did not share it because I am gay. I was outed to my parents. She came up with this elaborate lie. Yeah, I was just joking around with her, playing around. She took it to another level. Sheila never lied to me. She never went along with it. Allison was always feeding the lie that she was the lesbian. It's not a cool situation. Right. <laughs> I need to tell you something. I don't know if you know this. Did you know the second day she told me she was a lesbian with Sheila? She said that. She said she was a lesbian, that she had an adoptive son with Sheila. They went so far with saying she has an adoptive son and everything. People need to know how manipulative she is. An adoptive son? And Chelsea and James. You guys are safe. Congratulations, Matt and Natalie. You have won the power of veto. Allison's really trying to work Natalie. Obviously, Nat I run Natalie. That's that's a known thing. Natalie can you can tell her one thing, and it's I make the decisions because I'm far more intelligent than her. That's whatever. Thank God for Natalie. She did good. A POV today. Is it bad that I'm not attracted to her at all? She's not my type. No. That's not my type of girl. I don't like girls that, that chill their thong all the time and have fake breasts. I don't like that. It's not my style. I like more of a conservative. Yeah. Is that bad? I mean. No, it's your I'm just style. Honest. I'm just honest. I mean, I told her, I'm like, that's, I go, you're a great girl and you're going to make some guy very happy someday. It's just not going to be me. Yeah. Well, Natalie's coming up. I can bet money on it right now. Go the basketball. Yeah. Where's everybody? I have no idea. I don't know where it is. Okay, I'm good. Okay. All right, girl. Okay. Okay, I just lied for you. Don't get me caught up. Love you. <laughs> she totally knows I'm probably lying. It's bad. She doesn't take no for an answer. Whatever, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Okay. All right. You better get out then. Huh? You better leave then. Should I? You want me to? Do what you want to do. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. You want me to leave? Whatever. You whatever. You're ridiculous. You're ridiculous. She's playing right into my trap, and I'm loving it. Sharon thinks I like her. I don't mind kissing her, she's a cute girl. That's part of your game.
game to romance me? Okay, whatever. You think what you want. I will play the card like you're trying to play me. Bring it on. Halska. Sometime in the coming weeks, you will hear a distinct sound. When you hear the sound, nuclear wakes. River virus. <laughs> nuclear meltdown. You will need to gather immediately here in the living room and wait for an important announcement. And be prepared. This sound could happen at any moment. Expect the unexpected, big brother. Natalie and myself have decided to use the power of veto on <laughs> ourselves and take ourselves off the block. Strategically, we think it is the best interest of the house that Sheila and Adam be nominated for eviction this week. This is tough. I know. You're totally on my side here, right? Yeah. Totally. Well, you don't have to ask that ever again, okay. buddy. OK. He's yeah, going to keep it. you here this week. Like I told you from the beginning, you don't have to keep confirming it. No. I told you I would you. Yeah. I know. I know. I love Adam. Don't get me wrong. Dude. But they can't get floated any longer. Nah, dude. They don't deserve it. You're set up. You are set up. Yeah. They're guaranteed. I'm guaranteed. You're guaranteed. I'm guaranteed. I'm basically playing both sides. I don't want to make any enemies in this house. Whoever stays in this house, I want them to think that one vote was from me and I'm their friend and they're going to owe me a favor next week. That's it. You got my vote. All right. I Boom. Me. And you're done. You're set. It's going to go too well. To me. I think so. I like you. You know, like you're from wherever else. You already, you're probably already good. As far as I can see, anyway. You're gonna go too well. Uh, Manny, I'm really worried right now. What are you worried about? You got me. I'm gonna look like a hero because if it, the votes go one to one, split decision, both couples are gonna think that one vote is from me. I do believe that Matt and Natalie will vote for Ryan and I to stay in the house, and we need James and Chelsea's vote. I don't know if you guys are just totally against even talking about it, but we want to obviously get your vote. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We have to understand we made no promises to anybody. I And I respect the way you guys have played the game, totally. Yeah. Well, all I can say is that, you know, you guys would keep us, obviously, we'd be so thankful. <laughs> Number two, yeah. I mean, in reality, you have to think about who you're going to be spending your time with in this house. Yeah. So if we voted for you and Matt voted against you, it would go you'd to still go home. I just have to tell you guys, I seriously, seriously believe that Maddie will vote to keep me here. If he did vote for you to stay, it would be a far stretch. I'm just telling that from deep down from what I... My gut. From what we feel. I think that Maddie really, really, really feels like we saved him last week. Every single thing that Maddie has done, he, whether it be good towards me or bad towards me, he's been honest about it. Okay. I don't want to seem you know, like cocky to think that you guys are gonna vote for us to stay here. Strategically, I don't know where I'm falling this week. Same with Chelsea. We're not telling either cop or which way we're going. We know kind of what the deal is. What's the deal? Well, the deal is, is that Maddie and Natalie, they're gonna vote for us to stay. If you vote for us to stay, of course we'll stay. But if you vote for Allison and Ryan to stay, HOH breaks that tie. I think Matt had promised both couples that he'd vote for them to stay in the house, but he's lying. If both couples think that Matt has their back, it's gonna hurt me in the end because I'm gonna need one of these couples to vote for me if I don't win HOH. We all sit down and talk. Who's we all? Whole house is just us? No, just us four. We all need to talk. What's up? Well, I don't care where you're voting, but I do care how you're telling people which way you're, you know, playing. No one knows how I'm, I'm voting yeah. right now. No one. Has he told you which way he's voting? That he has. Yeah. Your, has he said he has your back? Who okay. knows who I'm voting for? What's it matter? So two people right now believe that you're voting for them. I haven't told them. 
And what's that have to do with me? You're playing both couples. And I just want both couples to know that you're playing. Both of them. That's big brother, buddy. Is that not? Is that not? You can say nothing, but both parties right now, both couples, okay. will leave your voting for them. So, you want to throw, throw people under the bus? No, not at all. Really? Uh, you want me to stop bringing operations up like that? I think it, we all hang out together. You're telling one thing and another thing, and so what are you saying? Throw me under the bus. You're an angel over here? I'm not trying to be the angel, So man. then what I'm are you trying, trying to do? to show so that both couples are getting played. That's all. Yeah, that's all you guys need to know. Each of them know individually where I stand, so let's, you know what I'm saying? They, they know. If they know, they know. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know, that's, that's too bad. You know what I'm saying? That's not my problem. By a vote of two to zero, Allison and Ryan, your housemates have decided to evict you from the Big Brother house. Oh my God. Told you. Told you. Told you. you ain't gone yet! Now that the siren has sounded, I have an important announcement for you. From this moment on, you are no longer couples. You are all playing. House guests, settle down. We have more important information. Allison and Ryan, only one of you will be leaving tonight. Oh, my God. Oh, goodness. How'd that work? House guests, in a moment, you'll be voting live to evict either Allison oh, or Ryan. I vote to evict uh, Allison from the brother house. I vote to evict Allison. 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 I vote to evict Allison. By a vote of six to zero, Allison. You have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Congratulations, Ryan. You are the new head of household. America, it's time for you to get involved in the Big Brother game. Evicted house guests Jacob, Jen, Parker, Amanda, and Alex have not returned to their regular lives. Instead, they've all been isolated from the outside world and have no idea what's been happening inside the Big Brother house. With your help, one of them, including newly evicted house guest Allison, will get the chance to shake things up by returning to the game. Seriously, good job. Thank you. I feel betrayed, you know, I'm a forgiving dude. Trust me, I didn't want to vote you out. We, we vote, vote to evict Allison and Ryan. Ryan. I knew that James, how well they voted for you, yeah. and I didn't want to see Josh have the happiness to vote you out. You yeah. can hate me for it all you want if you do. I mean, I don't. it's the Matt apologized to me, I accepted it. And you know, there's really no reason for me to hold a grudge. If I have an M on my side, you know, that, that's really gonna help me out. We need to set up a crew. Yeah, I'm not even there. We'll yeah, talk to him. Yeah, me and you, I think, mainly. Mm -hmm. We just gotta be really smart about it. Mm -hmm. Indeed. You know, now that it's singles, Ryan won HOH, he's definitely someone I wanna work with. Now it's time for the fellas to join up. We're gonna form a nice team. Because I say we had a team four. That's always four votes. We're gonna go through and just start like, boom, you're gone. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. And you, who else you want on the team? Yo, a baller. It's gotta be the biggest turnaround in Big Brother history. Yeah. I went from walking out the door to winning an HOH. Now you gotta pick two people to go to the block. No, it won't be you, I'll tell you that. I know you got my back. Like for sure, dude. We're setting up shop, by the way. It's the four bros. Yes. Ryan, myself, Paula, and probably James. You know, we're going to come together and, you know, we're going to do a clean sweep of this house. We're going to start weeding out all the garbage out of here. Yeah, seriously. Matt is trying to gather all the guys together, but I don't think I'm going to form a true alliance with anybody really at this point. You know how this game changes every 15 minutes in this house, so. Now it's like whole new game. Yeah. <laughs> There's also blocks under that That's wood. what I'm saying, yeah. 27 letters in the alphabet, there are 27 cubes. I have 26 letters in the alphabet. 27?
Ann. <laughs> 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 never mind, never mind. Ann is not a letter for you. Okay, right. you're right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> That's funny. No, I guess that theory's off, but. Hey, I was just gonna say, however you think is whatever, but I mean, the only thing I can promise you is if I ever get HIOH, I would never put you up. I would never backdoor you. Okay. And I, can, I mean, that's all I can promise you because okay. yeah, I, I have nothing I else to offer on the table because everyone's okay. in the same spot, you know? I'll take your word on it. So, I mean, Fair my enough. word's good. I'll never put you up. Okay. I won't, I won't Cause you up or backdoor you this weekend. Man, you're a cool one. Man, tell me about Okay. But you tell me the boat. Okay. I'll be your bitch for the week. Excellent. This is the crew. We are the bros. The bros are going to stick together. And we come up with a plan. At first, the plan is to put Sheila and Sharon up on the block. What about Josh? That's a funny one. Because if he doesn't go, he's going to come back at you. I know. That's what I said. That's what he said the same exact thing. Well, it says there. Chelsea and Sharon? You know what? Chelsea goes up. What do you think of that? Not against anything. I've nominated Sharon and Chelsea for eviction this week. How crazy is this? Someone in this room is gonna be rocking a half million dollars. <laughs> half million bucks. Yeah, I know. What are you gonna do with the money if you win? First, I'm gonna invest this shit. I'm gonna stick it all in the bank. I'm gonna sit on it for about a couple years and let it grow. Boring. No, that's Max. what I'm gonna I'm not done yet. Maddie, okay, chill. See. Once again, Maddie loves to rain on my parade and put me down. He loves to do that. You better hope you don't get evicted next week. <laughs> uh, quit being a d Maddie. <laughs> You're always such a d I'm gonna leave now. I don't need to be around negative people. So I'm gonna go, go downstairs. I can't stand being around negativity. I feel bad for her, dude. She just got pissed because you tossed that, threw that ball at her, dude. Well, she's gonna win one and put you up, dude. No way. No, all I have to do is say, all I have and to make do is, is say, I'll make out with her, and the yeah. game's over. I'm just getting so sick and tired. I can't ever have a nice conversation with the people, and then Maddie's like, well, first you gotta worry about not getting evicted next week. What? Yeah. Like, he's just so mean and rude. Like, this why is... would you say these things to me? What is your point, Natalie? I'm telling you, I'll tell you something. That's no good. He is working. Oh, I know. He's working I know. every day. I know. And I don't care Just if he goes home. home. I do not care if he goes home. Natalie is pissed off. She's almost in tears in the bedroom right now. Let's go and talk to the girls right now. Come on. Natalie got very upset by Maddie, I guess, putting her in her place. <laughs> So, as soon as she said that, I was like, ding! <laughs> I have an idea. If we all go down and say, if you get mad out, we'll promise you safety for the next two weeks. That is definitely the biggest threat in this house. He's very, very charming. He, can, he knows how to say, what to say to whoever. And so hopefully they'll come back and bite him in the ass. I think Ryan would go. I think so. I think he would. I think he would. Two weeks of safety. I don't think so. <laughs> Still mad at me? Yeah. No, oh, come on. I'm sorry. No matter what. It's the end. I'm not joking. I'm gonna talk behind your back. I say I'm following you and I always chase you. I said that when I said it to your face. To your face yeah, and behind your back. On. All right, I'll leave you alone for now. I like breaking you your so, But I don't like it anymore, Maddie. Uh, I won't do it anymore, okay? No, you gotta be nice to me. I you know, you're fragile. Well, then start treating me. I don't have anybody. Who is they? I promise that I would not Who's they? Joshua, Sharon, Sheila, 
Interesting. <laughs> because they say you treat me like if I don't deserve it, they want you out. Okay. But wait, you cannot say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah, tell him. Never had this conversation. Never. I'm gonna only tell him. That's it. Okay. It's not bad. Why would you ever tell the girl who was obsessed with me that you want me out of this house? That was a bad move, you know? They showed their cards way too early. And now it's time for Maddie to move one step ahead and take over. It appears that you were gonna be offered a two-week deal <laughs> to the back door of me this week. They're planning to play the whole, oh, what was me card, trying to get Natalie on the side. I just told Natalie, I go, keep playing like you hate me. I go, play it. It's gonna be perfect playing Natalie. She'll be our source of info from the other All side. day, because they're gonna think she hates me, and that's what I just told her. It's perfect. If I win eight two weeks, it's gonna be a reign of terror. Freaking everyone out. About what? Everyone thinks you're on our lines and that definitely I'll be targeted for next week. Are you serious? Yeah. But the house is gonna promise you two weeks guaranteed that no one in the house will put you up on the block. Guaranteed. If someone does against that, that person will automatically be nominated by the house and go home. So I would have to just nominate Maddie and say, Okay, Maddie, everyone thinks we're too close, so if I don't nominate you as a pawn, you know what I'm saying? Putting them up as as, as a replacement. Yes, if someone uses the beat We're going to have a meeting and everyone's going to go around and swear to you that you're I here. would need confirmation like that. I just hope I can trust everyone's word for two weeks. I mean... I think you could totally trust everyone's word for two weeks. You would not be the target at all. Everyone was in agreement. They're like, Maddie has got to go. Everyone has already talked about this. Everyone's already down with it and knows. I gotta tell you something, though, dude. I already knew this was coming. I got, that got leaked out to Maddie. What? This plan. How? Who do you think? Who? Natalie? Natalie told him? Really? Yeah. What do you say? Obviously, he was a little pissed. Hmm. You can't trust her with anything you say, especially yeah. about Maddie. I'm thinking if we have this conversation about getting him out, I don't want her to be involved. She can't be. She just cut herself out of it. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay. Guess what? Can you like that? I got word from Natalie. Josh, Josh is gonna go work his magic. I was laughing. He didn't mention anything about that yet. No? He's paranoid that I'm gonna back door him. Oh, that's what he's talking about? Yeah. Maybe he maybe he might after the POV, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. He, that, this, he could be waiting for that to go down and see what happens, but. Josh, sneak. It wouldn't be bad getting Josh out this week, though. No, I agree. But you get to do what you, you do what you gotta do. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I hear you. I just do what you gotta do. Yeah, man. Yeah, I won't chill up here no more. I'm definitely lying to Matt. I'm in trouble, because they all want Matt out of there. I pretty much have no choice. Uh, I'm definitely thinking that maybe I should backdoor Matty. Wow! Wow! Yes! You may keep the motorcycle for yourself, or you may trade it in for the power of veto. What would you like to do? As much as I want this motorcycle, I want the power of veto more. Sheila, please trade me. Here you go. Have fun. Brand new motorcycle. The motorcycle really meant nothing to me. I don't want it. I can't use it. I don't need it. I'm learning from home. $10,000. Ten yeah. 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 You may keep the money for yourself, or you may trade it in for any of the other prizes. I'll trade it for a brand new motorcycle. Woo! There you go. 
I didn't keep ten thousand dollars. I gave it to Sheila. Um, she needs the money. She's a single mother. Yeah, I was just like blown away. I was like, "You're giving me ten thousand dollars?" It shocked me, and it made me look at Adam differently too. He looked at me and said, "Yeah, you know, Sheila probably needs the ten thousand dollars more than she needs a motorcycle." Thanks, Adam. He didn't have to do that. He spoke words to me about how Adam feels about me. I know you need the money more than I do. A slot pass. No ten grand. <laughs> you may keep the slot pass for yourself. Well, you may trade it for any of the other prizes. Well, let me think about this. Just kidding, it doesn't say Hartley. I love you, girl, but I want that Vito. Oh, yeah! <laughs> the Unitard! The Unitard. Oh. Congratulations, Ryan. Backed by popular demand, you have earned the right to wear Jen's red Unitard for one full week. What is this? <laughs> I so want a Unitard. You have a huge decision before you. Do you keep Jen's red unitard, or do you trade it in for any of the prizes you see before you? What would you like to do? Here Ryan is. He could take the veto from me, and I'm stuck with the unitard. I'm definitely very nervous at this point. Well, A-ball looked the sexiest for sure in this red unitard. I'm gonna let my man ride out his yeah! though. <laughs> I want the 10G! I was just like, oh my god. You're the man, Quick! You're the man! Sorry, Sheila. Gotta do it. He took the $10,000 from me and gave me Jen's outfit. Yeah! <laughs> I was devastated. <laughs> I, I let Chelsea just hold on to that veto. That was fine. She can have that. You know, I wasn't in any danger. I didn't need it. So I can use that 10 G's a lot more than I could use that veto. I am 45, and I do think I've taken care of myself or someone who's had a child. I think I've got it still. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, you guys. Guys, don't be jealous. Hot. I look Woo! hot in this. Yeah. You know you want to get up on this. Hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, biatches. Sheila got the unitard. She bought is in full uniform now, right to rock and roll. Jen is probably so jealous right now. That tipped over her outfit. She pulls it off, though. I'll tell you that much. And I said, you know that 10 grand could have helped me as a single mom. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and she goes, oh, you're going to play that card now? We need to go after them. They're coming after every freaking mm -hmm. one of us. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. They're making me believe that they're going to protect me. They're not going to protect no, me. No, they're not. They're making me believe that too. They, they want Maddie out of here. And after Maddie, they're going to go after you. Mm -hmm. After you, they're going to go after Adam. Mm -hmm. Then they're going to go after me until mm -hmm. they got us all out of here. So, so it's the house divided by them. Mm -hmm. Ryan needs to remember what every one of these jerks did to him. Mm -hmm. And we have got to fight. They're about to bring us down. They're using him. Mm -hmm. They're using him to back on Maddie. Mm -hmm. I feel like a heel. I was letting them manipulate me. But see, they think I'm on their side, so let them think whatever they want. If Ryan's smart, he'll stick with us. But we don't know where Ryan's head's at. He wants to make everybody else in this house happy, but what he doesn't realize is the strongest people in this friggin' house are sitting right out here. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ryan, come here. I want to talk to you for a second. It's about the, the contest today. Come on. Look at you hot stuff. Thank you. I'm not mad at you, OK? I you just apologize. need to know that. I know. I apologize. I want to talk to you. When you listen to me and you need to listen to me good, mm -hmm. I don't want you to backdoor Maddie. You need to know something. Every one of them are talking to you and telling you that they got your back. But you will be out of here as fast as I can throw you out of here. There's only we two people in this house that can protect you. Are you ready for this? Listen to me. And that's Maddie and Adam. These people are clowns. They don't know how to play this game. They know nothing, OK? I, you know, I, I've been worried about this offer. You know, they're throwing this out of me. But I know after these two weeks, when they start clearing people mm -hmm. out. I, You're next. Yeah, These people that are out here right now, us, mm -hmm. we have your back. As okay. long as we can do it, we have it. 
know that you cannot backdoor him. They're using you and they're manipulating you because you're a nice guy and freaking sick. Who do you trust more? Do you trust Joshua and Sharon and James and Chelsea or mm -hmm. Adam, Maddie, Natalie, or me? I see where the, sun, the lines are drawn right yeah. now. Yeah. It's for you, for them. That's I'm in right. the middle. Ooh, I could stir up some, some major. I know right you now. could. I have decided to use the veto to save myself. Brian, since I have vetoed one of your nominations, you will need to find a replacement nominee. I'm forced here to make yet another very difficult decision. The house is divided, and I feel like I'm placed right in the middle. I felt somewhat powerless this entire week because I've been told the majority of the house wants a certain somebody um, gone. You know, this is a very tough decision because this is one of my bros. So, since Chelsea has taken herself off the block, I have decided to put up as a replacement. James. Don't you dare think that I was not prepared for this. Okay. You just, what? Okay, okay. Pause. Two weeks. No, uh, okay, I was told, okay, I was told the majority of the house was against Maddie. That's not the case, sorry. You know, and he's one of my boys, and it's hard for me to go and put him up, you know? Fan now. No, I'm not. I was prepared for you this. You don't, you don't think I did you, not you, trust you one bit. Did the fan let it hit the fan? Okay. okay. Do not, I'm, do not play me for a fool in this game. I'm not playing you for a fool in this game. Don't play me for a fool. Don't think that you can come around and manipulate That's me fine. and shit. You me and your my... boy. You and your okay. boy now. Well, it's see. on, okay. right? It's Jesus. on. I could have took your veto away from you. Yes, you could Yeah, I could have took your veto right away from you. No, I let you fine. have that. You're gone now. You know what? Sorry, James. Squashed. No, nothing okay. squashed. Mm -hmm. You just wait, boy. Okay. You guys, I'll try to hey, plot against okay, me. Hey, can you guys oh, go? I'm not, I just I'd like to talk to Josh. Chelsea, please, can you leave? Come on, I have no, I have no meanness to you, Chelsea. I just want to let you know, I was going to put you up. You know, because I told I'd you my word, cool. you came to me. We're cool. And I hope you see that, although I didn't go along with your plan, you know. Whoever. I'm glad you feel like you can trust me. I feel like I can trust you. You can totally trust yeah. me and we can play off each other because now everyone thinks I'm going to be mad at you for not doing I what I said. I know. Perfect. Excellent. It totally works. I think Natalie could win this game. I think I think Maddie could win this no, game. No, I don't think so. You don't? Mm -mm. Okay. Because think about it. I mean, he's totally sat and lied to each one of us. Mm hmm That's not right. When I had POV and when I had HOH, that's the only time he ever gave me attention. It was the only time he talked to me. We well, have to start, start working on that, sweetie. Girl, you don't even know. When I was HOH, he was coming to my room trying to kiss on me. He was? Oh, yeah. This has already been in the making. I've already been working this. Are you joking me? <laughs> you don't even know. Girl, I've been working since I got HOH. <gasps> mm -hmm. Did you oh, kiss him? Oh, yeah. Is he a good kisser? No. He's not a good No. Ew. <laughs> I will kiss a you dog. You are making me laugh, girl. You got some stuff up your little sleeves, don't you? Sharon definitely came off as this quiet, introverted type of person when she first walked into the house. But I think Sharon will do just about anything to win this game. Yep. Did she no. tell you that no. she's kissed him? No. She has. Oh my god. She How's told it? me. She said when she was age of age they were making out. Me, me. And I'm not done with what went on upstairs. I don't care what you say, Maddie. You're gonna try to blame me for a fool, I'm not a fool. I'm not gonna explain this because you're not gonna believe me regardless, because you think you know. So I'll just say, you're right, I'm sorry, okay? But I'm just saying, the way you treat me is not nice, Maddie. You treat everybody, you still do. Your actions speak louder than I don't like any girl in this house. I'm telling, look at me, I do not like any girl in this house. I hope you're not talking about me. No, I'm just trying to make you tell every girl I'm one of the girls in the house. Do you want me to go Do you want me to go Do you want me to? I do not trust I think she's working you. She ain't working. 
Yes. He is trying to get you closer and that will work. Yeah, I'll go to that we want? Is that we want? Then I, I just want you, you to give me some little attention. And like, I, when I say I have to talk to you, Maddie, don't just say, oh, no, we made it later. Whatever, later. later. Because you want to talk. Because of everything that we got. It wasn't because of me. It's always whenever you want. When it's convenient for you. Whenever I want to say something, you blow me off later. Well, then well, get over that. Hey, you know what? You want to not be together? That's it. We're not, we're not partners anymore. Okay? Is that what you want? Vote for Sharon. Forget it. Me. Forget it. Vote for Sharon. You just can't talk to hey, me. Hey, I'm moving out of this bed tonight, Joe. Forget it. Okay, you know what? If you're not with me, you're against me. Okay? Are you with me? You're against me. I don't know. Alex? America picked you by a vote of five to one. James, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. This past week, America voted to give one of your former housemates a chance to return to the Big Brother house. Oh my God. Their choice is in the mystery box. House guests, you have a difficult decision before you. Either bring back whoever is in the mystery box or bring back James. In a moment, you guys, James will not in a moment, house guests, listen up. Oh my God. In a moment, you will vote yeah, live. James. House guests, think James. carefully I think James. who guys, America, I just said it. I just all right, said there's it. no talking here. Yep. Think carefully who America would choose to put back in the house, or is it in your best interest to bring back James? It is time for the live voting to begin. One by one, you will enter the diary room and cast your vote to bring back the mystery house guest or James. Ryan, you're up first. Please go to the diary room to cast your vote. Hello, Ryan. Hello. Would you like to bring back the mystery house guest or James? Mystery house guest. The James! mystery house guest I want to bring or back James. I'll take the mystery guest, please. The mystery house guest. James! Gosh. Hello, dang it. Natalie. Hi, Julie. This is so difficult. Well, who would you like to bring back? Oh. The mystery house guest or James? Oh, you have to decide not good and pick under one. Pressure. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna have to bring back James. Hello, Adam. Hello. Who would you like to bring back? The bring mystery James house. Back in the house. James, please. James! James, don't you want to know how many people voted you back in and how many people did not vote yes, you back absolutely. in? Yes, absolutely. Five people voted you back in. Five people. Three people did not. All right, Natalie. Let's see if you played Let's Make a Deal. Okay. I want Ryan on the block for what he did for me. So okay. you promise me you'll put him on the block next to who you want and I'll drop. Next to who I want and you'll no. drop. No way, dude. That's a, that's a good deal. That's a really good deal. You want me on the block? You me over. But look what you did to me. Yeah, and you voted so me I, out the week before, It too. doesn't matter. I'm back. I want to make the deal. You ain't going to do it. You ain't going to do it. She will not do that deal, Ryan. Now wait. I'll just wait. I feel like I need to do it myself. Are you doing that good? Just dehydrated. You're a warrior. I just I have a bitter taste in my mouth. That's it. Me too. Promise me safety? Yes. You will put us ready? Yep. No deals. I swear. No, Nat. I'm looking at you. Nat. What's the deal? I'm just getting sick. That's all. Come on, Nat. Be strong. Nat, you have to trust me. I'm so sick. You Stay strong, that. Nat. Stay strong. Natalie, I'll make that deal with you. I'm just trying to think, James. I know. <laughs> Maddie, if I ever hear you talk about this girl again, I will beat the out of you. Do you realize what she's doing for you right now? I know now? what she's doing, and I'm fine. That's why I'm rooting for her on you. right now. Natalie, I'd never vote you out of here. It's not about that. What's it about? She doesn't want Matt on the block. She thinks I'm still going to put him up. Uh, James isn't going to screw you over. No, I don't want Maddie on the block either. I'm not going to put him up. Listen, I got a second chance. I didn't come in here to people over right off the bat. OK, deal. OK. OK. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
stick to my word, I'm like everyone else in this house. Good job, bro. Can't promise anybody anything. Listen, but those... Listen I feel bad for her. Okay. You all right, baby? She's just, she's just sick. I'm sorry. Baby, no, don't, say baby, don't say that. Don't say that. Okay. You're amazing. Let's tough you up, okay? Come on, babe. Come on, don't worry about it. Come on. Natalie, why are you crying? Come on. She's just feeling I'm so bad. proud of you. You just, just come here. Come on. You just think, oh, come here. The strength she showed up there does show me a different side of her. Natalie impressed me more than she'll ever impress me today. She did a great job. Come here, kid. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Why are you sorry? Don't be sorry. I love you, and I'm not going to break my word. I just have a question. Why did you vote him back? I should have told Natalie about which way to vote, to vote the mystery person back in and not James. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. James! James. I'm gonna have to bring back James. And I thought, well, if I bring him back, maybe he won't be mad at anybody. He'll just start being fresh. See, okay. it sucks that they've got flipped around. We were in power last week, now they are. They're gonna get one of us out. Yo, do me a favor. What's that? Go in the back of that Bible and tell me what a cubit is. Cubit? Yeah. Uh, C-U-B-I-T? Yeah. Under the weights and measures. Yeah, I got you. Because Goliath was six cubits in a span. Cubit is 18 inches. Six cubits in a span. What's a span? Nine inches. So 12, 34, 15, 6, 7, 18. Yeah. That's a foot and a half. Okay. I think it was like nine feet tall. Yeah, like nine feet tall. That's a big ass dude, right? Damn. Jacob married two girls in one week. Jacob gets busy, dude. Yo, he married two girls in one week. And then, then the maid servant, he's like, Who does? Jacob, watch. Here's my maid servant. Sleep with her so she can bear children for me. <laughs> Six cubits. <laughs> Yo, this dude, Jacob. Yo. Yo, what up with Jacob? First, he marries two girls, right? And then both their maids, too. <laughs> Jacob's the man. He has like 30 kids. Yeah. And Goliath's nine feet tall. Six cubits in a span. Is that true? Oh, that's a big ass dude. That's a big ass dude. Yeah. And what, David, David takes him out, huh? Well, I'll find it out now. Just get a little bit, dude. You want chill? Yeah, I'm just chilling, dude. Oh, he goes back and meets his brother, Jacob? That wanted to kill him, Esau? Yeah. Does he kill him? You'll see. He should be like a professor, start a Bible college. I know. He's already like halfway through. <laughs> For real? I'm cruising, dude. Do you understand all of it? Yeah. Bible's a good thing to know, man. There's a lot of references made to it. Mm. David and Goliath. Easter. Easter. If your no. arms get tired, I mean, you can wait another They're day. They're tired, no. You can have the massage. Like, because there's a, that, that's something, like I said, not, yeah. a lot of people wouldn't do something like that. I love you. Thank you. Not like that. I, know. I love you in a different way. I know. I hope we know that. Yeah, that's not. That. Thank you so much. Matt actually gave me my massage. So it takes me five hours hanging on a disco ball to get my massage that he's been telling me he's gonna give me forever. Will you just take that? What are you doing? Pulling your shirt up? Yeah, because this thing is in the okay. way. Okay. I'm not touching any boobies though. I don't want you to massage okay. my boobies. Oh, put them in because they're hanging out. You did good today. Get up. Thank you. Seriously, I'm very proud. Thank you. That was so hard. Yeah. The roller. You need the roller. I still feel like you're my partner. Yeah. Well, we are. You're my agent. And you gotta convince me. Yeah, I'm gonna. Trust me. Okay. There was three bets to not get him back in, so. You know, there's a third out there. Oh. Someone didn't come back in. I thought it would be Allison coming back in, and I didn't want Allison to come back in. Yeah. 
I have not fessed up to my vote to not bring James back into this house just yet. I really don't feel like having even more of a target with him. Someone did. Someone got to third. Right now, there's a mysterious third vote that no one knows who it is. I have an idea it's either Matt or Adam, and I can't wait to crack this case and figure out who it was because that's just going to infuriate James and make him really focus on getting them people out of the house before myself. I have a very interesting situation. Oh. Why are we here? It was a third vote that no one's claiming. You know where I voted. Well, Maddie's saying it wasn't him. So who was it? Matt's sitting on there. That, you know? So, we voted. I didn't want to come back. What? I did. Well, I know that, that though there's a third vote. That's why everyone's trying to figure out who it was. But you did? Huh? You did? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If it wasn't Matt, it wasn't you. Who was it? I voted for him to come back, obviously. Did Natalie? Natalie voted for him to come back, obviously. Okay. Chelsea, Sharon. She Ryan didn't. didn't. Sheila didn't. There was eight of us, so one person. I voted for him to come back. One of y'all didn't. Yeah, it's one of y'all. I know what I did. Josh was said it's either me or Maddie, and one of us was lying. He counted down his fingers who voted for who, and my name wasn't on the voter forehand. James needs to know that I voted him back into the house. His nominations are coming up. So it would be dumb of me not to convey the fact that I did vote for you to come back into this house. Bro, I voted for you to come back. Yeah, so don't anybody tell you different, dude, all right? No worries. All right, I'm gonna say, I ain't saying that I'm lying here nothing like that, bro. I'm gonna try to bring my boy back in his house straight up. No worries, then. Don't question me, dude. You don't even do it either. Dude. What? What did I do? Out there, dude, and I did not vote for him not to come back in his house. Um, I'm not telling I just said there's no. I'm gonna state my claim right now, you know what I mean? Well, I did what I did, you know? That's Period. <laughs> I don't want to call him, no, he says she chef, okay? You don't have to, man. I don't care, I'm back. Oh, I know you don't care, but I'm just letting you know. Follow your sister. That's it. I show him straight in the eyes, straight up, that I voted for him to come back in the house. If he doesn't believe me, I could very well be a target for the coming nominations. The last person that is safe is... Adam. Hey, Adam. You look nice. So? So? <laughs> hey, Adam, I do want to say this to you, seriously. If I did anything at the beginning of this game, I apologize to you. It was never my intention to hurt you or offend you or say anything mean to you, OK? Seriously. I love you, Sheila. I love you too, Adam, but I really did want to say that to you. Thank you. Just your actions in the last couple of weeks have shown me, like, what type of person you really are. Thank you. I don't know. I I just don't want to be mean to you anymore. I, I hate I hated being mean to you. And I promise you I won't. I wanted him to know that I was sorry for some of the things that were said and done in the game. But I think I do have Adam's support. I, I really do. I was a normal guy. That's it. Well, I wouldn't call you normal, but <laughs> it's like but you are a good person, Adam. <laughs> I am doing a little bit of lying to make sure that Maddie doesn't get in trouble for voting against James. The evil arm will go with Majority. He thinks Majority was going to vote James out, so he went with it. Same. Yeah, I mean, it's going to come out. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's going to come out sooner or later. It's crazy. I know. That's why. lying a million miles away. It just was very obvious that she was definitely trying to stick up for Maddie. I'm sure James will find out mm -hmm. who, you know, who did what, and then it'll all come out. I mean, oh, the yeah. truth will set you free. It'll come out. Oh, yeah. Us. Congratulations, James. You have won the golden power of veto. All right, man. Play it on me. OK. <laughs> They're throwing you under the bus with the voting situation. The, uh, wait, wait, Sheila? You know I voted you in the house, right? I don't know. Since you, I'm telling you, I'm the one that voted you. I said, they put him in that camera. I said, bring my boy Jimmy back in his house. I'm like, that close to that camera. 
I didn't want to brought you back in the house, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bottom line, it wasn't mad. It would have been a 4 4 vote if I didn't vote for you, bro. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm still going to do yet, but yeah. The voting situation really has pissed me off. Bro, you know what I mean? I ain't like, I have no reason to make up, you know what I mean? Because I'll tell you, you know, I ain't going to. I cannot believe I didn't put you in the house. I mean, how did, no one knows who voted for what. When Adam confessed to me that he wasn't the third vote, he did it in a very rambunctious way very loud, very abrasive, which made me think that he almost was a third vote. Uh, the way he came off, his attitude, uh, it wasn't really assuring. I need to talk to Sharon, because this will definitely, I need to know for sure what Sharon, you know, like I don't want any question without a doubt. You could just talk to her. I wanted to talk to Sharon because Sharon would be the third vote if I was the backdoor adamant. Can you send her up here? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I gotta go pee. I'm gonna go pee really quick, okay? Okay. Are you going in the other bathroom? I'll go upstairs. Okay. Later. Here. Let me. Alright, you wanna summon me? Yeah. We all have to stick together, like I said before we left. Oh yeah. I'm all about that. Okay. Because this week is gonna get really rocky, so. What are you gonna do? Something intense. Because we can go anywhere. We can knock someone out that we want to knock out this week. Yeah. Like, we can knock out anybody. But you can't say anything. Yeah, go for it. All right, I want them all to think one thing and then do something completely different. Well, you know Matt was the third vote to get you out of here. I know for a fact. Matt was for a fact. Of course he is. And Natalie tried lying to me and telling me Matt's the one that said to bring you back. She's trying to save Matt by saying that he didn't, and I know for I mean, I would have guessed that. When Sharon confirmed the third vote was Matt that did not vote me back in the house, I was furiated. Why is this guy still lying to my face when he said that he would be honest again? I'm just really pissed off. At this time, I have decided to use the power of veto on Sheila. At this time, I have decided to nominate Matt. What's going on? We're looking Not in, it's plotting a way to stay in this house. Luke, hey, Chell. You know, you guys are never gonna give me a time to talk to you. I don't so, wanna talk about it, Annie. I got it. There's so much that's going on right now, just leave me alone. Ryan is not coming up to me campaigning. I'm not trying to campaign, I just wanna know. I'm 50 50, and there's I wanna so know much what it is that I've done to everybody in this house that they want me out of this house this week. I've never crossed anybody in this house, and I just don't I'm not saying I, I want just, you out of this house this week. I never done anything to you specifically or you specifically. If anything, I voted for you to stay. I voted for you to stay. I never put you on the block. I never put you on the block. I have not said I'm voting you out this week. I mean, if you think life around here will be better without me, so be it. However, like, I've never done anything. I've never crossed you or you. And I've never really crossed you. Ryan has crossed everybody here. He yelled at you. You're gone now. You know it. Sorry, James. <laughs> Squashed. He took money from you. I want the 10G! Put but on the he, he did put James on the box. I have decided to put up as a replacement, James. I didn't he put, put James on the block. He put you on the block and you. He put you up and he put you up as well. If you're gonna, going to, why are you going to hold that against me? Maddie made a convincing argument. What he said was very true. Ryan has uh, done some things that are kind of dirty, and everyone seems to be forgiving Ryan. I was like, what am I thinking? Why would I keep Ryan here? For what reason? But whether he will get through to Chelsea and Sharon, I just don't know. Like, can you please save me this week? I, I am asking for a prayer, a miracle of some sort. I, I don't want to beg. Just give me a fair shake. Give me a fair shake. Please, you know? Maddie has Natalie, Adam and me. So we're talking now as a split vote. Well, who do you think has to break that tie? It has to be head of household, which is James. James, let me ask you this. Do you 
want somebody that's done a lot of people in this house, done, done them wrong, or do you want to keep somebody in the house that has literally not screwed over anyone? You want Matt or Ryan here? I'm Beyonce. Matt, he's done nothing to me. I can't, I can't fault him. He has Natalie and Adams, though. You know what my gut says? You keep Matt. Yeah. Okay. You break a tie. I break the tie. If there's a tie. What do you want to do if there's a tie? I don't know. Maddie made a very good point outside today with everybody. He said, what have I done to you? I said, you've done nothing. Then he said, what have I done to you, Chelsea? Nothing. What have I done to you, Sharon? Nothing. What has this person that's staying here that's on the block with me done to all of you? He's put you on the block. He's tried to backdoor you. He's tried to evict you. He's coming after you. And it makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. He was the one that had the power to put you where you were. It shocked me. And I don't know if necessarily Maddie is the one that told him to do that. He had the power to do it or not do it. And he did it. That was his decision. He has to pay for that decision. By a show of hands, how many of you thought Allison was going to be in that box? <laughs> One, two, three. Three of you did. OK. Well, let's take a look at last week's live show oh. and find out who it was that you chose not to bring back. Let's find out who is going to be in the mystery box. Parker, you came in second place. Alex, and Erica, you. Congratulations, Alex. Oh, oh, we're kidding. Oh, kidding. All right. Oh, now, by a show of hands, if you knew it was Alex in the box, how many of you would have voted for him to come back? I did anyway. So. One, two, three, four. Would have been a tie. Very interesting. I vote to evict Maddie. Matt. Matt. Ryan. 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 House guests, the votes are in. And we have three votes to evict Ryan and three votes to evict Matt. James? Yep. As a current HOH, you must decide which of these two will leave the Big Brother house tonight. Yeah. Just a reminder, house guests, once James reveals his choice, the evicted house guests will have just a few moments to say goodbye, gather their belongings, and walk out the front door. James, please stand, face the nominees, and cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Matt. Congratulations, Adam. Who said all the damn baby food out here, bro? I like it and all, but not that much. Because that's my mother saying. You tell her I need to talk to her immediately because she didn't do a good job at all. Now, this stuff is good. I used it when I was little. Oh. Do you still eat it? I, I think my mom wants, I, I mean, it's good for you. It's healthy. I like the banana one. That's about it. And the, and the, and the vanilla custard's all right, too. But how much baby food can you give a man? What do you got in the fridge? I don't know. Why they put all that baby food in here, dude? Bitches want to have my babies. I don't know. Maybe that's it. I'm hoping that Adam will share his baby food with me because I love baby food. It's really yummy and it's good for you. And just because it's baby food doesn't mean that only babies eat it. Sheila? Yeah? What would you do if Adam puts me and you up? <laughs> That'd be a bad thing? Yeah, I'd be unhappy. The block yet. I'd be really unhappy if you put me up. I, mean, I just told him outside, you know what I mean? I was like, listen, I've been the block yet. But why me? Huh? Why me? I think you'll be. I think you can handle your own out there, Sheila. Unbelievable, Adam. You know what I'm saying? Like James taught you a lesson last week. You know what I'm saying? I you lesson this week about you know the way you treat people. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, you do what you got to do. I mean, I'm not. I can't, I'm not telling you I'm putting the block here. You know what I mean? But I'm well, saying. I don't I'm saying I just. I'm you know, that's just you know I mean? a shocker to me. I, I, I mean, why would it shock you, Sheila? Uh, it just shocks me. I know I've been mean to you and I've disrespected you, but I've apologized to you over and over and over. And now you're going to do this to me? Uh-uh. No, that's not going to fly with me. At first, I thought Adam was just terrorizing Sheila, but I think he was actually getting serious. He may actually put Sheila on the block. I but just got off the block. I think that would be an easy decision for me where I won't affect me in the long run. Wow. OK. No, do I... what you got to do, babe. It's your HOH. But if I do get off the block, then what? Then I'm gonna go up. Your ass is mine. Okay, just know that. Know that. I like joking around with her um, and keeping her giving her the idea that she is going up, but um, it'd be a good move for me to put her on the block.
And I was praying in my room after I just got done reading Matthew 5. Uh-huh. I was like, dear God, please open up my eyes to see new clues on what the game might be about, please. Make these things vivid and bright so that that way I can see it. Mm -hmm. As soon as I look up after I'm done praying, I look at the pink curtains in our room. Uh-huh. There's eight of them. Eight of them? Really? Yeah. I wonder what the eight means. So far, I found seven groups of eight. What were the eight again? Let's see, we've got the eight curtains. Eight the, curtains. The eight rocks with the ducks behind the couch. Right. We've got the eight vases. Right. The eight um, things in the bathroom. Right. The eight pictures in the salon. You see the there eight were... sayings. Right. Um, yeah, but what else was the other eight? I have to remember, I found seven eight. Eight pillows. Eight pillows. Room. Okay, so eight so far, pillows. those are the seven, eight. There's got to be another group of eight around here. So I'm going to go look. I'm going to go study. I'm going to go keep counting stuff. Um, all right. Uh, what's the deal? I do. I got a good plan. Chelsea and James is still a good move. Because they're both a huge threat. They can win physicals and mentals. Look at how many alcohols Chelsea has left. Sheila. By nominating Sheila, um, I think it would be a smart move on my part to show them that we're not working together in this game. No. She's think so mean to me, Natalie. She seems to go up. Yeah, but she's not a huge threat. You can beat her. It'll go back to bite you in the end. It will. What are you thinking? Seriously, Adam? Why would you get out Sheila? Sheila's not a threat. Are you kidding me? Guess who will be leaving? Sheila. And then there'll be four of them and three of us. It, you're safer by putting two out of those four up. But then doesn't look like I'm, doesn't, then, then doesn't look like I have sides. They're going after you either way, and they all know. Everybody knows the house is split right now. Everybody knows. <sighs> that would be a dumb move, because next week, because they're gonna have three votes, we're gonna have two. They get to choose who goes home. It'll be Sheila. Trust me, the numbers, think of the numbers. You have to get out a strong player now, like James or Joshua or Josia. <sighs> get rid of the stronger ones, otherwise they're gonna take you out. It's like do or die. I gotta convince him not to put up one of the people from our side. If he does that, our game is done. We might as well just hit the button and leave now. I have nominated you, James, and Chelsea for eviction this week. Congratulations, you have won the golden power veto. James has now won the power veto, so James, having any intelligence, will take himself off the block, leaving only Adam to put up Sharon or myself. So now I've got to figure out a way to make sure Sharon goes on the block and I don't. What you gonna do? I'm gonna talk to Adam as much as I can. I'm gonna try to throw Sharon up there. Because Sharon's in this bed to make sure Chelsea goes up there. Yeah, I know. There, because Sharon's in this bed. I know, I know, and I want you around. Yeah, because I can help you. Yeah, because you can help me. Ryan and I definitely still have our alliance going uh, full force. We are definitely in it together, and I think he is definitely working to make sure that I stay off the block. But uh, I'm gonna talk to him. I'm gonna be in his ear, but I'm not putting you up. Tell him that the best way to make sure Chelsea gets home is that Sharon's up against him. Exactly. Just everyone likes Sharon. I know. You versus Chelsea is a lot easier than me versus Chelsea. Just because we have the like same. And I'm more of a risk to go home compared to Chelsea than you are. I'm more of a risk going home than you. The thing I love about Sharon is that Sharon loves Joshua. I just told her that she would be a better candidate to go up against Chelsea because she has no problems with anyone in the house. I'm not only blown away with Sharon's dedication to me, but I'm also blown away with how damn good I am. I am a big believer there is no I in team. I feel that in order to get my team farther, I have to make a couple sacrifices in this game. And I feel that right now this is the best position to keep my partner and I safe. Hey, Baller, can I have 15 minutes with you? You want to talk to me? Yeah. No. We'll go to your lovely room. I get my private time with Sharon. You do. I wanted to talk to you because 
If you want to put me up against her, I know this is a tough decision and a tough week for you, so I'm trying oh, to make right. it easier. All right. I won't be mad if you put me, I mean, I honestly think that I will stay. I mean, I just don't want you to feel like I have any vendetta, whole I've had your back. I don't want to mess up with me and you got going, you know what I mean? Right, I think I would be okay with you putting me up. Yeah. I just need you to help me and we can get Chelsea out of here. Yeah. Okay, I wanna make I wanna make the situation she's strong, easier for you. She's strong all around anyway, you know what I'm saying? She's smart and she's physical. And James will keep playing for her throughout the game. And it'll just be an easier week for you, Nate to wait. I have decided to use the power of veto on on myself. I'm going to nominate Hugh Sharon for eviction this week. You mix orange and green, that yeah. usually will make brown. Purple and green make brown, too. Whoa, look at that one, guys. That one turned out awesome. When you put the pink on it, it'll be pretty. That one's cool. Mm hmm it's great. Ooh, this one's gonna be cool. Look, I am very in my element right now. That is mm -hmm. so ugly. Mm -hmm. I mean, for yeah. Easter, though. It'll be pretty. It's painting. <laughs> I just can't stand this girl. I have not been able to stand her since day one. Boom! Oh, I wanted to keep that stuff. I wonder if we can get that. There's the beaver. Yeah, it's the beaver. If I'm gonna go out of this house, I'm gonna go out with a bang. Crazy after this place. Okay, I don't want that one. Do not ruin our house. Natalie, come on, Good. have some fun. With what? You just look like you're hating life right now. Oh no, I'm just enjoying my last sip of wine. Chelsea is definitely done. Do you think you're cool? I'd hate to be your family. If I acted that way, my family would have absolutely nothing to do with me. Uh, no, I don't. Sure. I'm positive, but thank you. <laughs> Look at the best room. What else can I smash? Uh, How what? about all these eggs? <laughs> oh, our hard work. <laughs> we worked so hard on these. What if, oh. oh. Chelsea has some bit of cruelty that is beyond what I've ever seen in someone. She dug her own grave with this. God, I hope you watch. There's an egg. <laughs> there you go. That's an egg. Oh, wait, that's the beaver state egg. That's the beaver state. She picks on me because I'm her biggest threat. What are you going to do? Are you going to evict me? Are you going to evict me? All right, tell me the truth. When I reveal that Alex was the mystery guest, you indicated that you would not have voted him back in. Did you not raise your hand hey. because James was sitting right there? <laughs> you caught Be honest. Me. You caught me, Julie. I did not raise my hand because James was there. So you really would have voted for Alex to go back in? For sure. I happily vote to evict Chelsea. 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 I sadly vote to evict Chelsea. By a vote of five to zero, Sharon, you are safe. Chelsea, <laughs> you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Natalie, yes. congratulations. <laughs> what are you looking forward to most in seeing your HOH room? Definitely seeing all my family and friends and my animals. I've been dying to see and hear my yellow card CD. I had a feeling, I asked, yeah. I'm telling you, I asked for the signs. My birthday's election day, I just had a feeling. You did, you all, I even said that. Seven questions, seven, seven you people. Need to vote for yourself Week going seven. Into I told you I'm onto something with the numbers. I knew I was gonna win head of household this week just because the seven. See, I have three sevens in my birthday. I was born November seventh. Um, the weight I was was eleven or seven eleven, and the time I was born was seven eleven. So th sevens and elevens have always been my lucky numbers, but seven especially because seven's God's number. Seven angels. Seven is all over in my life. 
week seven. What did I tell you? The end of week seven. The end of week seven. My favorite number is seven. And tomorrow starts week eight. Seven's the golden number. Seven's Maddie's number. Seven. This is a birthday gift from Maddie. Seven. 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 But it's only asked seven questions. They only ask them seven. Seven eight questions. God, love her seven. I know. Six, right? And I told you seven questions. Week seven, seven questions. Maddie, seven, seven. I told you. I went out there. I was praying the night before. God, give me signs that this is my game. I go out there. I match. You were freezing. Number two. Seven. I even said seven. God, this is it. Election day. My birthday. Seven. November seventh. Maddie's birthday. I even said Maddie. April seven. Natalie is crazy. Natalie's theories change whenever it helps Natalie. Last week, it was all about the number eight. There's gotta be another group of eight around here. So I'm gonna go look, I'm gonna go study, I'm gonna go keep counting stuff. This week, it's all about the number seven. Every week, the number changes and the theory changes. I'm sure next week, it'll be like the number six or maybe the number five or maybe 21, who knows? She says she, all the signs were there that she was doing HOH. Do you wanna hear them? It's ridiculous. Her birthday falls on the election on Tuesday in November, and it's her birthday's November 7th. So her birthday always falls on election day, which is impossible because the 7th doesn't fall on Tuesday every single year. Second of all, that this is the seventh week. This is the eighth week. I know. Obviously, I have nominated you, Joshua, and you, James. You're gonna win tomorrow. Look at me, I know you are. I know you can go out there and win this. You know what I mean? You're and just a, a strong person, though. You're a strong player, James. I don't want you to just be can't... persecuted for it. We came here to play a game. Yeah, and well, it, guess I... what? You're, to them, you are the biggest threat in this freaking house. You're a better player than Ryan. You're a better player than Adam. You're a freaking better player than Joshua oh. and Sharon. They think you're going home. I don't. That's just my gut saying, here we go again. You're going to win PFE. You'll be put down, and then Josh will go home. We'll see what happens. You know what? I told you you got nine lives, James, and I believe that you do. I'm like a wounded soldier right now. I don't have Chelsea here telling me that I can do it. And so Sheila telling me that I could win the POV just really meant a lot to me. You're going to win this. I already know it. I've got, the, I've got a gut feeling that you are. You're going to take it. Okay, I'm about to give you a pep talk. I think that you really have a lot more in this game to offer than you think you do. Mm -hmm. And I think that you need to realize that you have a lot more going for you and a lot more power than you think you do. I think you have I the power so to save yourself. You do. I really think you do. More than you know. I hope so. And if he wins, then we take a beating. That's all it is to it. It's like we'll take a beat. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Who cares if he hears? I don't care. At, at this point, Nellie, do we really care? Because it's either going to happen or it isn't going to happen. And, you know, no, but that's the truth. That's how you have to look at this. I want you to feel more secure about going out there and winning this. Yeah. Well, I caught Sheila in a two faced lie. In the sauna, she was trying to pump me up earlier today, and now she is trying to rally the house against me. That's the truth. That's how you have to look at this. Hey, you know what? You know what? You guys want me to be honest? No, you want me to be honest? I'm just being honest. I just heard everything. Guys are pretty confident I'm leaving. He's been very depressed. He, he thinks that be. he's gonna lose. And he feels bad, okay? Uh, how do I he does. how should I feel? James, you're scary. You're a strong, strong competitor. Every week I gotta put up with all the house guests going. You gotta go. The whole house is like, yeah, we gotta get him out of here. Blah, 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 blah. You know, I'm the annoying house guest that won't leave. You know, like, can you just give me the fact that I did hear that? I'll okay, that yes, I'll give okay, it to you. Okay, so the whole house is against me. Even you. That's it. Just laying in bed, woke up, probably shouldn't have woken up. I don't care. He needed to hear it. He's mad that I talked to you, so I don't care. He's a scary player. So everybody's gonna pretend like they don't want him out of here. Everybody does want to get him out of here. James, I'm sorry that you had to hear that, but you know, a lot of these people are... Okay. All right, sorry. 
Win, lose, doesn't matter. I'm on my own path in this house. What's up? What's going on, Sheila? Nothing. Is he mad? Hmm? Is he mad? He heard everything. I'm glad he heard it. You yep. know why? Because guess what? It's true. Yeah. All of it's true. The cat's out of the bag, and it's making me sick that he's still in this house. I'm going to be on the block every freaking week. I'm going to be, if I don't get HOH, oh, you know, <laughs> boo-hoo, dude. Boo the hell who. And again, he gets HOH or whatever, he gets into yeah, power. Cool. This, this house, I promise you, it will be a friggin' nightmare. Mm -hmm. Where is she out there? Yeah. She feels better. Chilo? Yeah. That she got that off her chest? I didn't say that. I know. Can I go watch? Sheila. Yeah. I heard you feel better after everything, man. No, I don't feel better. Because yeah, man, uh, what's going on? Let because you, ca you came you. to me today, Let me tell and you, you pumped me up stuff. all day. You pumped me up in the sauna. Stuff. You told me in the sauna yeah, I did. that hey, you're gonna got this. I want yeah. you. I got you. I'm yeah. looking out for you. It's true. Well, you I... get out there with being a two-faced bitch. Okay, you go in the sauna and you say something fine. to my face, and, and then you go out oh, there and you, and you say really? something exactly different. You didn't say you were gonna put me up on the block until you. I put you on the block because you voted against me. You promised that you would vote for me. You lied second. What the are you doing to me? You lied to me and once again. You're pulling me up. You're going in there. You have my back. You're looking out for me. She go out there. No, dude, this isn't your battle. And you're going out here and you're blasting me. Because I heard you. Me. I heard you lie to my I face. Know. And you know what? That's he when you voted it. me out. And you're saying the same thing that you said you haven't said. I heard it. Will you're you lying to your face, bitch. You I'll say to your face. You talked about people buying their backs. I will say to your face. Well, thank you for telling me that. Glad I know now. I'm glad I know now. Thank you. It wasn't in the cards for me. But I'm not going to be like is. Chelsea. I'm not going to run around is. pressuring people for. I'm not going to no. do that. I love Sharon too much. They're like. Rawr. She's going to start crying. No, no, don't. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay baby. No, it's a, it's. We fine. all want to cry. It was fine. <laughs> You know, all you're gonna have is each other. So you only need to stick together. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, my stomach! <laughs> but, you know. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. Take care of her. This is down to the end. It's gonna get real nasty real quick. You didn't let him down. This was not meant to happen for him. Wait a second. Why should Sharon get to stay and I have to go? Man! Hi. You know where I stand? I know. I'm a straight shooter. Something's to be said for that. I know. So what do I do? Listen to me. I'm your friend. I'm telling you from the heart, it needs to go me versus Sharon. I want you to end up in this game. That's why I said take care of her. Put Sharon up. I'm not going to campaign against Sharon, right. but so I'll cut you a deal with everything. I'm asking for one more week. Yeah. I mean, he's a good person. We both know that. He feels bad, but he doesn't want you to be like this. He doesn't. He wants you to succeed. How can I get I'll, hopefully I can pull some votes, like James and Ryan. Can okay. you break a tie? There you go. If 
you get two guys, I can break a tie and I'll send Sharon home. I will get it to get it too, too. Yeah. Okay. He loves you to death. That that boy will be your friend for life now. You know that, right? Okay. Just talk to Natalie. She said if I can get two votes, she'll break the tie and keep me over Sharon. Natalie actually said that. That's cool. I can get two votes. All right, you and James, I'm gonna need your help, please. I mean, I I'm can... helping you out. I didn't know. I didn't want you to stay. I just felt bad for him. Of course. <laughs> If I can get two votes, at least that she'll break the tie and keep me over Sharon. Ryan, and you were gonna vote for me, I would hope you would. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll go 2 2 on this day. Yeah, this is great. He's gonna walk out with some dignity and class. Because you know why? Because really, that's who he is. I'm gonna make a deal right yeah. now. One week deal. At least a one week deal. I'll give you more than that. Okay. What do you want? My firstborn. Me and James are gonna vote to keep you and she's gonna I'll she's gonna break the tie. Not tell Adam. We're not telling you. We're not telling you. So you protect me, you protect her next week if you win. That's the real Joshua. That's the real Joshua. Okay? Uh -huh. He's not he he loves you. Sharon is physically strong. She can do that stuff. Mm -hmm. More than I can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's more of a threat. I know. That's what we were thinking. She is. Got to love him. Got to love him. The next week. I'll give you two weeks. Okay, two weeks. Two weeks. And two I weeks. won't go after two you. Two weeks. We're good. Deal. At this time, I have decided to use the power of veto on myself. Sharon, I'm going to have to nominate you. I'm going to try to win uh, myself safety for this week. If I can get three votes, I don't even need Natalie to break a tie. Everyone knows I'm on slot. Part of my strategy is to break down Adam and show him that I'm weak and uh, someone that maybe he can feel sorry for. This better be convincing. <laughs> uh. You all right, buddy? I'm about to just eat. I don't care, y'all already gonna send me home anyway. Talk to that buddy. I can't take any more. What's the matter? Talk to I'm me. I just, I feel like I'm isolated. I feel like y'all are all together out there. I just have no one to turn to. James is sleeping. I'm just here by myself. I'm right here for you, buddy. Come I on. know, but you know, I don't want to stay. I don't want to do that. It's not easy, buddy. I know. I just can't take it anymore. It's not easy, Josh. I know. <laughs> okay. It'll be okay, buddy. I promise you. <laughs> it's hard, Joshua. I know. It's okay. Cry it out if you need to, buddy. It's okay. Crying on cube is very easy for me. It's not all fun and games like I was thinking it was going to be. If anything, this just shows I'd be a great soap actor. I'm looking at this. I'm so hungry. I'd love just to eat it right now. Yeah, I'm gonna get tissue. I just want to stay. I don't want to campaign. I just don't want, you know? Like, what do you do? So you're throwing her out of here. Exactly. And then she's my friend. You know, it's like when you're both on the block, you have no one. And you have to throw this one. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So you're I don't really like to break down in front of people. You're making me cry now, dude. You know, leave me alone. <laughs> it's a tough game. And I thought it would only be hard for the person on the block when I saw this. It's hard for me making these decisions as well, you know what I mean? Because I feel like everyone's already just decided they're going to keep sharing and like, get rid of me. It feels that way, right? It does. It does feel like to me, too. You know, I can make it to, too. It gives me some hope. I think I made some headway with Adam. If he gives me his vote, Ron gives me his vote, James, there's actually three to one. There would be no tie. Okay. Josh.
You cannot say anything. No, I'm not. He's trying to make a deal with me to keep him over you. What? He tight in you. God. Thank I want to keep you. I just have to know that you and each other's ex will put me up. No! Okay. Are you kidding me? Hello, the, the three of us girls can stick together. It definitely hurts my feelings when I hear Josh's campaign against me, especially when, you know, I spent most of the day of, after POV crying about it. I think we should tell Sheila. But you gotta get her in secret and tell her to come Okay. Up. Swear to God, I want what happened. No, James and Josh are trying to stay here together. So they're trying to get me, they're trying to get the guys to flip on me. You're right, you're flipping. But listen, no matter what bottom line, they're going to work together. Yeah, they're trying to stick together. No matter what bottom line, yes, get Josh. He's sneaky. I can't believe that he would do this to her. She's been crying. I've been feeling bad for Josh because he really wanted to stay here. But now I don't feel that bad because you're gonna go against me. I'm not gonna go down there and get all mad at him and to start more drama. I mean, that's all the people that's gonna get Josh evicted from the house. I don't like it. That's why I'm sticking with you, girls. That's why I'm telling you right now. That's not right. We have to stick together as the family. Why do you think I'm telling you this? But the girls are gonna stick together. It goes two two. I break the tie. I yeah. send Joshua home. It's gonna be a battle of the sexes. If I want to keep the girl power together, I need to go work Adam and Ryan and make sure they vote out Joshua. So we will stick together. So what's up? What do you think? There's a couple of things. It's like... That's the only thing that scares me. Me and you be safer in the middle. Mm -hmm. Josh stayed. Right. If Sharon were HOH, she probably got to me and him. I can talk to Sharon. Sure. She knows James is a huge threat, and she'd want to get him out. Think but so? uh, mm, definitely. I mean, it sounds like such a good plan to me to just make Joshua and James think that he's staying, and then to just bam, James would be like. What? Joshua evicted? <sighs> this is so hard. We have to make sure we make the right decision. Sharon just worries me, man. I never seen Josh. Natalie. Huh? Did you talk to him? Um, I talked to Ryan. Me and you need to talk to Ryan right now. I, I'm not gonna lie to anybody. If I walk out those doors, I'm gonna walk out these doors and all America's gonna watch that I haven't been a liar in this game. I've never been gunning for you. I've never been after you. Josh and James, you know they're gunning for you. I know if I leave, you all Trust me, they have it mapped out, planned out, how it's gonna go down. I want to go eat something. Here comes Adam, I need to talk to Adam upstairs. Okay, well just come back and talk to me. I'm not after you. I know, I, I just, okay, okay, good. I've never been after you, talk to you right now. No matter what happens, I have your back in this cage. I'm not gonna trust you. Now, I could see Sharon being a good ally. You know, I believe she's a very trustworthy person. But we can get part of this game together. I want to say thank you. Yeah. OK. So whatever you hear, I'm going to be playing them. So it's done. It's done. Whatever you hear, it's good. If we keep Joshua and James together, we're all screwed. Yeah. I know that for a fact.
coming. Guess what? He's coming after you boys. Yep. He wants you and Ryan. I told you I would protect you and Ryan. And I know for a fact that those two boys stay. We're done. Do you use your plan? Do you use your plan? Don't tell any of those conversations that we had to Joshua no. or James, because then all hell is going to break loose. Hi, guys. Hey. I say right now that we plan on getting Josh out. Okay. And we still play it. Like as if he's like, safe. Like as if he's safe. Right, don't say Shocker at the end. Shocker. She's freaked. Now I've got Sheila, Ryan, and Adam all on board to get Joshua out of this house. Joshua will be thinking so confident he's staying. And then... That's what it's gonna be like. Joshua will be out the door. Thank Bye, you, Josh. Pain. Done. Hello, Adam. Hello. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Joshua from the Big Brother house. Joshua. Joshua. Sharon. Joshua, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Congratulations, Adam. I had a dream that my son and the person that's watching my son was outside last night, outside, out in the yard. And I tried to talk to him and I couldn't talk to him because I was still in the game, do you know what I mean? Being in the Big Brother house has been a very difficult thing for me as a single mom. All I ever do is think if my son's okay. There's a part of me that's not here and it's been difficult. I miss my family, I miss my sister. I miss my son, I miss my dog. That's the hardest part about this game. But it's gonna be over for you now, you got a month left. What? You got a month left, that's it. I miss my brother, my mom, more than anything, man. It may be a little harder on her. I mean, she's been attached to that kid and taking care of him for 16 years now. I give her positive reinforcement at all times. Do my best to help her out, man. A lot of times what fuels me in the game is my son, because I did this for him. I miss my son. I would do just about anything for him, just to take care of him and make sure we have a better life together. This is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. It's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I've never lived, lived my son this long. Adam gets it. Uh, I mean, out of everyone in this house, Adam gets me more than any of them. I trust him. Yeah, he is the only one that I could talk to about my son. My strategy for the entire game is to lay low, let everyone come to me looking for an alliance. You know what I think's a deal, which could work out perfectly? Mm hmm I can have uh, an alliance with you. Hell yeah. Just as long as no one expects anything? No. With Sharon, what I'm doing right now is I'm pretty much just trying to cover all my bases. Sharon lost Josh. He's definitely looking for someone else to partner up with. It's always good to have another person on your side. This probably could be the best scenario for you and I together. And then that way, you know, I wouldn't, you're not going up with you and I'm not going up with you. I can talk him into and leaving you off the block. Talk him into putting Sheila instead of you. I definitely live by the term Semper Fidelis, always faithful. I stay true to Joshua, I'll stay true to Ryan. If everything works as planned, which a lot of things don't in this game, but if it does, you know, it's Oh, this is gonna work out, I guarantee you. Me and you are the final two standards. We will. It'll be like mission accomplished. It will happen, I guarantee you. Two nicest people, final two. Yeah. That. You're in a situation where you have to make a critical move. Big. You can take a big risk and work with me, or you can take a big risk and not work with me and then me coming off. It's a big issue, dude. It's a big trust issue. You know what I mean? It's like, what do I do? You know what I'm saying? You were straight from me in the beginning. Yeah. I mean, you're straight up from the, from the get-go, dude. I thought we had a relationship. Why'd you vote me back in the game if you don't want to work with me? Why'd Natalie vote me back in the game if she... I mean, it doesn't make sense what thought... Pro like. Yeah, there could have been someone else in that box. All right, I'm gonna go up there and break it up. Go, get up there. Like I heard my name. You got something to say? He's just a little troublemaker. I knows what to do. All right, all right, 
I heard my name a couple times. Why is my name being brought into here? I'm just saying that you and Adam were the ones that brought me back in the game. I know you gotta make a decision, you know? Yeah, it's a hard decision for me to make right now, you know? Last week was tough too. You don't trust me last week. If no one's gonna trust me in this game, then what's the point? But that wasn't us that did that to you, James. That was you. Those were your actions. To Adam personally? <laughs> I haven't done I anything. I told you that before, nothing to me. But that doesn't matter. The issue is if you do in a POV, then over her and Ryan, who never did me wrong in this game. Never. So it's the same as you, you know what I'm saying? What a waste of an H it would be to get rid of one of his friends. Me or Ryan. My friend. I, we okay. are his friends. Why would I? But because what, if you didn't go up, you're gonna save Sharon. I don't care what you say, James. Okay, because Natalie, because you read me this whole game. You I read have. me this. You have? Pretty much. Go. All right, man. Except for the Maddie thing, because I trusted you, which was a bad move on my part. Because yes. I could have. So don't trust me day. this whole game. I'm asking Adam to trust me. I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm not asking you to play the game with me. I'm gonna ask Adam. You only ask. I'm asking Mary Adam. Power. And no one believes me because you don't give me the chance. You know, I'm like, just, I'm like, I'm sorry. I tried to. I tried to last week. I really did. And no, but finally, Joyce Bowen, all of them. But you know what? You're gonna go on the block. That's it. You know what I mean? Bottom line. Now I feel like it's too little too late. I mean, I've been... That's kind of strange, man. Too little too late for the whole game. It's hard to trust somebody when they already you. I have a real big heart, and obviously well, no one's seeing that. When you walk this house, you don't act like you have a big heart because you're negative and mean to people in this house. This is an everyday thing, James. The I'm whole house against you every day isn't an everyday thing? You just get really fired. I don't want to do. Come here, buddy. Come here. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come here. It's okay, buddy. Sorry, it's okay. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm not crying about this game, dude. Oh, no, it's all right. I'm sorry, James. It's just in general, you know what I mean? I'm just trying it's to be a person, dude. You are. You're a person. It's hard, dude. It is hard. You have isolated me. I am breaking down. And I hate because I'm crying over a game. It's because I honestly like you, Adam. I like, honestly, from the beginning of the game, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to talk to you as a person, Natalie. I am. I, I, I would not just mean to people. It's just when it, the whole house feels like you're battling against. You gotta do something. The country. Yeah. You... <laughs> just really fuck you. Man, this is what it came down to. This is how the game went, buddy. You know what I mean? This is not. <laughs> you don't have anything to break your trust. I know. Sorry, James. I'm not. I, just do, I do like this person. I love everybody. You know that. When James started crying, I kind of felt like, all right, well, I've said my, stated my case, I've said my piece, so maybe it's just time for me to leave. <sighs> just sucks, dude. <laughs> Those tears were real. You know, I haven't cried like this since I was 14. And my father died. <laughs> it just sucks, dude. I really liked you. I still do. I, I understand it, dude. It just gets frustrating. You know what I mean? I was saying you're doing all this just for you, man. For a week, trying to talk about you. You know what I mean? I'm trying to talk to you. I kept you in the house. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Just talking to you. That's it. I'm just trying to be straight up, man. <sighs> it just sucks. It really does. And I cannot put you on the block with these people, buddy. I don't. That's what I'm doing all this. And I know the end you won't f me over, bro. To the end, me and you can do it. I'm telling you right now, man. I'm just being straight up. I'm in a hard space. I broke down last week and I'm not good this week. I know. And I understand if you have to put me up, I know why you're doing it. It just really hurts me. Yeah. As a person, you know what I mean? I would be over. Just don't use a POV if I don't put you up. I'm not gonna That's do it. That's it. You're not on the block, buddy. Alright. <laughs> you're not on the block, buddy. Relax. You're my boy, dude. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that to you. I have nominated Sheila and Sharon for eviction from the house this week. I decided myself to fast forward the motions that would have been set in place if James did win the POV, which was the worst case scenario for me, my risk, okay? You were the one that everybody said was gonna go on the block, Sheila, okay? Sharon, you knew you were gonna go on the block anyway. That said, that's how it's going down. I don't want to be the only one. This will put fire in me to play for this POV. I don't want to go out there with everybody out there, oh, it's going to be OK. Oh, if it doesn't happen like that. No. If you want him out of the house, we'll win, OK? Bottom line, that's how it'll go, OK? Whoever wins, wins. Jay's had a promise. 
and he will fail his promise. Okay? Like my word's good and he talks word. We'll see whose word is what in this house come this week. Are you mad at me, bro? I mean, if he went to POV, you got a great decision between me and Al. He's had back. He said he's not going to use it. He said he's not going to use it. No? No. You're not? Okay. I'm just assuming. You're assuming the negatives. Okay. I mean, if you really want me out of here that bad, get the POV and take Sheila or Sharon off the block. I'm just assuming that you're going to take your girl off. What the hell is wrong with him? What is he on? What freaking pills have you been taking? Just chill, don't talk too loud, okay? We don't need a big blow up with everybody. Oh, it's already happened. Yeah, whatever. But you're not gonna you. be safe. Not it's not gonna you. be me or him. Well, why in the hell did he do that? And he believes I, I can't believe James ain't gonna use POV. He just got caught. Do it. I'm afraid this POV. Then you pull me off and put his ass up. I know that's what's gonna happen. And guess what? Dumbest freaking move in this game. The dumbest freaking move. So don't get it. So don't get it. That makes it easier for us three. And if we survive this week, I'll turn on him later. Dave will use the POV. I think he'll use it on you. I do not know what to tell you. I think I did the right thing or wrong thing? I don't know. I don't know what the right or wrong thing is. You never really know. Yeah. I did the wrong thing. Huh? I did the wrong thing, I think. What I think? I think I knew why you did it. I understood why you did it. It just, I just thought, wow, that's really risky. I mean, it just is. You know, I just didn't think you would be the person to ever put me on the block. Right. You know, because I wouldn't do it to you. I know. I don't know why I just did what I did. Could have called himself the game, you know what I mean? Well, I gotta tell you, Adam, yeah, it will be on you because this was your choice. You made this choice. Yep. So I wanna believe in you, I really do. I was a little pissed off at you, Sorry. that was real. But I kind of went back there and thought about it and I know why you did it. I will, Adam, look at me. I will forgive you. I will. I will. But you know what? I don't know what other people. Can't promise you that. Can't promise you that. But I will. Dude, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You know that. I'm so sorry. No. I shouldn't do what I did. We just gotta overcome it and we gotta win. Natalie, what I do? You're gonna have to win the POV, babe, to redeem yourself. <laughs> Ryan's man. Well, Ryan's pissed, yeah. Yeah, of course. Can do you, what do you want him to like throw you a party? I don't know what I was thinking. I stirred the pot for no reason. <laughs> I'm a moron! <laughs> moron! <laughs> Satan's tongue, dude, got to me. <laughs> he mesmerized no. me, dude. <laughs> he did. Poor right, Brad. Yeah, he's mad at you. He should be. What <laughs> up, man? Dude, you know what? It's cool, dude. I'm gonna win. I promise you, I'm gonna win. I will make up to you, I swear to you. I won't. I'm so sorry. I was not I thinking, know. dude. Just forgive was, me, please. Just, I do. It was just an unnecessary <laughs> risk. Well, right, right, it could have been smooth, you know what I'm saying? This wouldn't be done. The kid will go in peace, you know what I'm I know, saying? I know, I know. you didn't do it to screw us, dude. I didn't, man. I, I, I'm betraying, be you, man. I'm not on his know, side at all, know, bro. You know what I'm saying? I and I think this is what we're going to do. We're going to win, bro. I'm, I, I'm so sorry, Ryan. I'm just going to have to dude, believe me. I'm hey, so sorry, hey, man. Don't hold dude, it against don't me, sorry. please. We just got to win, dude. We just got to win. I just feel so bad, man. I'm going to go out there and destroy you. So I got to pull out. This is how I perform best. You know what I mean? I will not lose, dude. I'm going to be Warrior Princess Natty. We need you, babe.
I'm now you know, like, no, there's no question about it. Now yeah. it's like, we're like he was before, you know what I'm saying? Where he was in the position where he was like, damn, this is do or die. Now there's five of us for do or die. Do or die. We're gonna beat him now. That's all, I'm gonna hands down wins. Okay. You're on the block, buddy. You're going home. Adam apologized to me about the nominations, but I'm still not ready to uh, forgive him yet because it still puts me at a risk. You pissed at me, dude. Uh, Only nah, because I'm it. just afraid that you would use it and I might be going home. That's all. It's yeah. a trust issue still, and if you didn't use it, I would definitely get it. It would be a whole new bubble. Yeah. But until it happens, it's like I kind of believe it when I see it. You know what I mean? And how do I know that you guys won't use it to try and get me out? We can all sit down and come to an agreement. I gave him my word that I wouldn't use it. But, that but you means know what? you share it with me. I'm okay. open. You know I'm open to listen. I, I would just not want to be in a situation where I have to trust you. I want you to trust me. I want because to trust I haven't you. been able to trust you. The only way I can trust you is if you leave it the same way. There you go. That's what I'm trying to do. That's it. I'm not gonna sit here and lie anymore. I'm done with that bull crap. If you win POV and you don't use it, you will not go on the walk. If I would age with you. Okay. When Natalie wanted to make a deal with me, it kind of reassured me that I might be staying in the house this week. But at the same time, there's definitely worries that she'll go back on her word, but I'll take anything right now. You have my word. All right. And my word, when I say I mean something, I mean it, period. All right. That's it. It's done. I know. I think the only people that will want to change it that are not on the block is just Ryan. Natalie wants to change it. She does. Hey, she wanted you out last week. Why did she leave you here? I don't know. What are you thinking? I mean, you took away Matt. Like, that's like shooting her in the foot. Why do you think that she would want you here? Like, what's making you think that? Her telling me that she wants to work with me? Her telling me we gotta keep it on download, I wanna work with you. I am blown away. Wow. I cannot believe that. She wants to be able to have the power to trust. Like, she doesn't want to trust me, but she wants me to trust her. She's wanting all of us to think we're all gunning for you. So then if you do win, you'll think, oh, now he's got my back. Don't go after her. I need to chill out. I'm out of your bag. Wow, people are snitting. You are the villain! Mm-hmm. Let's face it. Yeah, he is, and he knows I mean, it. I mean, come knows on. It. James told me this has to stay between us. I promise you it will. James told me. There are certain things that I can't keep to myself, Sharon. Know that. Uh, I, I trust have. you. And James told me one night, said, I heard the jacuzzi. Natalie has been trying to work with him. But she's she's going to work with she's, him? She's been, she's been telling him, yes. Wow. I oh my was God. pissed. I'm just like, wow. Like when he told me that, I was like, are you kidding me? Like, that's pretty bad. But I think she ultimately will betray me. I mean, I, I know that just by her attitude. Well, you know that I'm not. Wow. I have decided to use the power of veto on Sheila. Therefore, my options has come down to choosing James. There's the angels. Yep. Skeeting. Blowing this bitch out of the water. Adam, you egg it on, your ass is grass next week. Don't egg him on, tell him to shut up. I'm gonna egg him on, bull. You better watch it, Adam. You better put him in his place. She's threatening you. Bro. I don't need another don't week of that. hell. It's bull. Threatening me, right? I'm not having any part of that. I've put up with enough BS in this house from those stupid people. I, can't, I don't think I can trust her very much anyway, can you? I think she was trying to cut deals with James these past few weeks. Gotta, gotta take those boys out. 
They would be quick as hell to do it to us. Mm -hmm. We ain't beating Ellie no indoors, bro. Yeah, oh, I agree. She's a bigger threat, dude. And you have for the votes as well. Who do you think would turn on you the fastest? Oh, probably Adam. I'll just be with you at the end. The final three, hopefully with Sheila. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather, I'd like it to be me, you, and Sheila. That'd be best. That'd be perfect scenario. As long as this girl stick together, you know what I mean? Mm hmm Because I want to get out with my biggest threats. I'm going to send home Adam. I need to let Adam know that, hey, you know what? Nellie will come after you. I don't want people targeting Adam, but I can't let people know that. I can't let them know that I care about him and I do want to go to the end with him. Can't let people know that that's my plan. Give me the latest. You ain't here, Trent? I'm ready. Can you handle it, Trent? She's trying to cover her own ass. She thinks she can come to the end of this game. She's not gonna wanna go in the end of this game with you because you'd get all the votes. And Sheila's cornering me, telling me you can't trust Natalie. Natalie's cornering me, telling me all the girls are after me. It's like, who do I believe? Who's who? What's what? Oh, I'm so glad to be out of there. Joshua's personality is that of a bitchy female. He's loud, he's obnoxious, and he's just like any other girl who's on her period. I vote to evict James. 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 By a vote of three to zero, James, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Pace yourself, patience, you know what I mean? Yeah, I need to win this. Fun. I need to. I'm not safe yet. If Why I drop, do you not say? I'm just not, I can feel it. Oh, God. Oh, God! Wow, Natalie, you don't feel safe, huh? That's interesting. Natalie said she didn't feel safe. I found that to be extremely odd. Who do you not feel safe by? Ryan or me? Maybe, you know, she got wind of it that I would come after her. I'll be right back, guys, OK? Come keep his company. Buster. I'm going to go pee real quick, and I'll be right back, too. Yeah, yeah. I say we all make a deal right now. We put up those two. This house is gonna get crazy very soon. I don't want to go up, and Ryan doesn't want to go up, and you don't want to go up. That only leaves two people. Please, God, let Natalie fall. You want the HOH? Absolutely, I want the HOH. Okay. I know you do, but I'm trying to make deals out here so me and Ryan don't get put up. You're not yeah. going up. I already told you you're not going not? up, Ryan. Okay. You aren't either. Okay. okay. I'll put those two up. I if would I be talk, willing to give this to Sheila. Come on. I'll you do can't it. put me or Ryan up, Sheila. I'll put Adam up. But I really am only in alliance with one person, and that's Adam. I'm going to protect Adam to the end. Even if I have to put him on the block right now, I mean, he's going to have to just pull himself off. He's got to go up with Sharon, period. You're going to put him and Sharon up. I promise you, it'll be those two. If Who Sharon you? saves herself on the block against Adam, okay, who would have put to up? put up me or Ryan. Okay. It wouldn't matter, but we'd have to vote Adam out. Yeah. Okay. We would have to. And then it, it could be one-to-one -one vote, but then you would have to be the decider if it's okay. split. Okay. 
I'm all yeah. for it. I was pushing this deal during a competition because I wanted to ensure that, you know, Shield would win this HOH. And at the same time that Natalie would not win because I trust, you know, Sheila more than I trust Natalie at this point in the game. I'll well, stay well, up here for a little bit longer so yeah. you don't think we're making deals, okay? Okay. okay. Is another I'm a giver, and I want to show that I can give, so goodbye. <laughs>
feel like I'm in a decent position, but at the same time, at this point in the game, I can go out at any time. I'm hearing everything that both sides are saying because everyone's coming to me. You know, people are definitely starting to turn on each other. And another reason why I want to put you up is because I want to get the target off of us. We're the last freaking couple standing here. Maybe that's what Natalie's really thinking that we're in codes. You're the last couple. Sorry. Mm -hmm. no. That's bad. Because what do you think she'll do? She'll come after us. She'll vote me out. She'll vote you out, and that's why I can't have it. I have nominated Adam and Sharon for eviction. This is one of the biggest POVs ever. Sharon has to win, Adam has to win, Ryan has to win, or I need to win. Natalie cannot win this. I think that this is my only chance to get Natalie out of this house. You gotta win this. You got to win this. You gotta protect yourself right now. Did you make this happen? Make this happen for sure. I appreciate you. I promise you, Sharon, I will campaign daily. You will not go. You got my freaking word, girl. I trust you. You got my I'm ready to go. Now you're Rock ready. and roll. Game time. Ready, baby. Now I'm really ready. I'm I get these preemies, guys, called mm -hmm. premonitions. You got it, baby. <laughs> Dieter Dunn. D yep. U Triple. Y'all, my boys. I can't believe I'm off the block and cool. <laughs> You're off the block, you're cool. I was so Now scared. somebody else has gotta go up. Well. Not a well. Like, You're hey, not down you know the block. It's slim pickings, baby. It is slim pickings. <laughs> it's slim pickings. Thank you, God, man. Boom, I'm off. Thank Jesus, man. I'm off the block and safe. Can't get put up, can't get put out. You are a gangster. Jesus. You are the baller. Surprise! <laughs> Thank you. All right, read your card. I want to read it out loud so we can hear it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is from my mom. My mom and I have always had this sort of relationship that's on and off. The last time I spoke to my mother was Thanksgiving. Happy birthday to my sweet daughter. Be positive. We are rooting for you. Hope you're having a good birthday. I really miss you and I can't wait to see you. I know this is a stressful time, but just remember all the obstacles you have conquered and you have it in you to go in and go to the end. And by the way, I've watched all nine seasons of Big Brother. Oh my God. My mom's been a fan of this show. Oh, I didn't even know my mom would watch yeah, this show. That's crazy. <laughs> to hear that my mom is a huge fan was unbelievable. It's my show. It's my favorite show. Oh my God. My mom was a single parent and raised five of us alone, and she's like the strongest person I know. Like, that's why I'm the way I am, because of my mother. I never told her I was coming here. 
I know our relationship will change once I leave these, this house. I'm going to have an amazing relationship with my mother. Good luck, love mom. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Hugs. Oh. Happy birthday, babe. Sheila. Sheila Bugs. Oh. So how are we doing, boys? Are we good? Are you good? You're the decision maker. Okay. She's got to go. Do not do one to one. I can't do it. Why oh, can't you do it? Because I don't want that to happen. It's that would not... be a bad move on your part. I'm not worried you guys about Ryan. Think I'm you worried know. about you. you know. It's one to one. I know who voted for her. You. So what? You know what? I'm, I'm telling gonna... you, if you don't do it now, she's coming after you and me and, and Ryan and I. It's going to happen. She came upstairs and she was really upset. She goes, I can't believe you're going to put me on board. I go, who else do I have? I've been nothing but loyal to that chick. She goes, why do you feel like you have to be so loyal to him? I go, because he just freaking took me off the damn block. And she goes, I swear to God, I'll come after both those boys. She says, I will. If I get off that freaking block, I'm coming after him. Can I ask her? I can't, I can't say anything to her. No, not yet. Keep it a surprise, right? Keep it a surprise. She's one freaking vote. Okay. Don't forget that. Sheila, you keep talking about the end, dude. The end of course. Well, I hate to tell you, you this. I mean, you got to get past next week first to talk about that. Well, I know. I can get past it if you guys stick to the plan to get her out of here. We got to do this right now. If Ryan decides to vote for Sharon and Adam decides to give Natalie a pity vote, I will not be happy because that means I have to break a tie and ultimately get blood on my hands to walk Natalie out that door. If Adam votes for Natalie and I have to break that tie, I promise you I will make his life hell. Are we on the same page with this? Is Ryan ain't going up right? Don't make me put Ryan up. You need to just fall through it. I'll do what I want to do, to No, you got to lock in that boat. If you don't, if I have to break a freaking tie, that's going to be a nightmare for me, and you know it. And what's that mean for me? You're going to be a hero in Sequester. Just know that, both yep. of you. I only knew a hero. I only knew, I know one's here, but you're what? a shield. Adam, don't start me. I'll put your freaking bro up. Sheila, the conversation should be non-existent. What, you don't think I will? Sheila. Hey, baller. Huh. I'm not totally set if we want Natalie out or not. We'll get to the bottom of it. Let's just make sure I'm not up on the block, then we can do whatever the hell we want. <laughs> right. This is totally a case of I got to keep my mouth shut for Ryan's best interest. Got to keep Ryan off the block, because that's my strongest ally in this house right now. We're going to run the house. We're going to run the boats. Right. We do what we want. Me and you do what we want. It's, it's over with. I decided to use the power of veto on myself. Natalie. They're all out there. What are we doing, dude? I don't know. We gotta say something. Me and I don't control the votes this week, and we also need to find out what's true and what isn't. But what do we do? How do we go about it? Do we bring them all to head? All to, all to the table. All to the table. House meeting. All right, house meeting. They're going to be like, come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you might pitch just calling you all out. Cat fight. It's going to get nasty up in this piece. What are you boys doing? You boys better keep me. I'll suck you both in the eyeball. Dead in the eye. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with why, me. Why? Why are you questioning us, Dally? Why? I don't know. Because why? I'm the why? Block. Why are you so worried now, all of a sudden? Worried. <laughs> why are you so worried all of a sudden? I don't know. We're having a meeting. <laughs> with who? Bad and now we're having a meeting. With who? A three. House meeting. Full house. For what? I, I recommend you get dressed. Things came out. We need to confront. Oh, shut up. One hour. Are you guys messing with me? No. I was thinking, what could this possibly be about? What could they possibly want to talk about? I don't understand. They're trying to mess with me. I don't know what they're trying to do, but they're telling me that we need to have a meeting tonight. I'm not going to have any Where? I'm not going to have Why? Why? They can talk to me. They want to talk to me. 
I don't think, I think I'm probably end up going home. It's messed up. Do you want to go talk to them? No, they won't let me. They said, no, we're not going to talk until an hour. What is Adam and Ryan up to? I mean, this is freaking me out. I'm like, what are they doing? Girl power should have stuck together. I will open. Natalie? Natalie, please come to the we please come to the table. We have a meeting, house meeting. Nope! I'm in the middle of dyeing my hair. What's going on, guys? We have a meeting, house meeting. Well, have a seat, Nat. Natalie, this have is a the house chair. Come on, please. I can't, guys. My hair dyed. This stuff goes bad. I already made it. It's too late. Can you get a Bible out? Oh, for crying out loud. She won't come to the meeting. Nat, what just come. It'll, it'll take like three minutes. Come on, well, this is real quick. Well, because this is going to take a long time. The, pr the product is already mixed. Three minutes. Well, let's have the meeting in the bathroom. Why do we have to have church back here? Yeah, let's why do we have to have a meeting? Couch, I guess. I don't even want to have a stupid meeting, guys. No, I'm not, my stress you. levels are already this high enough this this by being it's on the block. For you, Natalie. I don't care. I am going to okay. be here in peace, and I'm doing There have no, words that have been spoken. Because this will be oh, good for geez. you. You can defend yourself. Now, you have came to me and Adam, mm -hmm. right? Us three. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Have you gone? You have gone to the ladies also, said final three with the ladies. We have overheard that you win HOH next week. You're after me or Adam. Mm -hmm. You'd like to see one of us go home. Mm -hmm. And yet you have told me and Adam that if you have the chance next week, you want Sheila gone. Mm -hmm. It's what? also it's also been brought up, yes, Drew. What about Shh, that you did know a final two, you and Sharon. So, you know, the main question here is, you know, where are your true loyalties? Who are you right. with? Are you playing every angle of the house, every side of the house? Because, you know, in here, that just does not work. So yeah. this is your chance to defend yourself and let us know where you really stand. Well, my true loyalty does stay to the two boys. Yes. It stays to the two of yes. us. So you, if you say you're going to put me up on the block and evict me. If I win HOH, I mean, I would put you up on the block, yes. Okay. You can't play every side of the house. You no, know, you I'm not. Said you're though. going out to Adam, you know, talking bad about him. As long as this girl stick together, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna send home Adam. And every time I've done that, I've come back to you guys and told you why I did that. No, we, you throw us <laughs> under the bus. You I know, didn't throw to, you to under the people. bus, bus. Like, here's the plan. This is what we're gonna do. And we're the plan. You're putting the plan in their heads. I've heard a lot of things too, though, you guys. Name one thing that you've heard about us, besides me and That you guys two. found me a huge, big threat and that you wanted me out of the house. I've heard that a lot. From who? From these two girls? From, well, number one, Sharon. Not from Sheila. Well, I don't know what you guys want me to do. I guess I just send me home. I don't know. We're not saying that. We're giving you an opportunity. I don't to, know what you else know. to say, you right. guys. Right, and I, I, honestly, you, I, no, don't know what else to say. It's not justification to me, you know what I mean? It's not reason why, you know what I'm saying? At least an apology come out of the deal. I At least am something sorry. happened here. Okay. But if I didn't save myself in the blocks, like, I have a strong feeling that you would have been no, against I've me. No, I never would have voted against you, Adam. I mean, you know that. Here, same, same way if I followed you You know that. I told you that. I promised you that. Same thing if I would have went up on the block. I feel like I that would have kept you too. You guys know that I've always been true to you too. Well, that's what we thought. And that's the I mean, way it, it always happens. There's no been. way we can and be I sure mean, when we hear all this stuff, you know. Now this will yeah. end running around and playing every side, mm -hmm. obviously. You know? Well, yeah, because she's loyal to you guys. So that's what the deal is. You want to clear there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Know? OK. okay. All right. So. Yeah. With that said, this meeting is adjourned. is adjourned. That was fun. What'd you guys get out of that? I just couldn't believe that these freaking clowns did this. These guys just went in there and ruined my whole plan. Like, like, now it's turned upside down. I don't know who they're voting for. I don't know if they're going to keep Sharon, if they're going to keep, keep her. I mean, it, it's just, oh, my God. There you go. I feel bad for poor Natalie, you know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah.
But she's playing every side of the house, dude. She took it too far. Now Natalie can't go play all the time, dude. She can't go outside no more and keep saying, yeah, 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 this one, this one, this one, this one. Exactly. No, either of you are with us. <laughs> Going home. <laughs> Chatty. Hmm? I had, we did his best for you, you know I what know. I mean? But do you understand what well, we're coming from? Well, in this game, we just totally understand. You, know what I'm you said you tell us you're getting us information, but we feel like you're playing way I'm too hard. I'm not playing both sides, You're though. playing no, way I too hard with you. Guys. We feel like that you're throwing us no, on the I'm not. I might have lied to them, but I have never lied to you guys, ever. But it's easy to say that now, Natalie, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what else to tell you guys. I'm telling you the truth. You two, I have always told the truth to. Those two, no, you're right. I've lied to those two. Because I know where I fa may stay faithful to, and that's to you two boys. And if I've got to lie to help you two, then I will to them. And we want to believe that. You know, we did, but it's just, you know, the thing I do want you to believe me, but now I don't know what to do. My life is in your guys' hands, you know? I mean, yes, I made some mistakes. I didn't mean to go and agree with them. I didn't think they'd throw me under the bus like that and make it seem like it's all me. They're the ones that sit there and put all these ideas and I'm just sitting agreeing with them because I don't want them thinking that I'm in cahoots with you too. I know, no, we're up in you know? Tea, you know what I mean? We're still, you know, I know, but I'm not trying to do that. You know where my loyalty stands. It's never been with them. I've always, that's why I never put you guys up on the block. If that was the case, I would have tried to put one of you guys up on the block and got you out when I could have. But I did it because I was faithful to you guys. I know. Yes, I sat there and agreed to it, but I always came to you guys and always told you what was going down. This is why we brought this up. This is what we wanted to hear. Uh, we just feel like you've been playing it way too hard, you know, and that's why we're And maybe I have, and I'm sorry, you know, yeah. maybe I have. I think you have, but you know. And there's, I need to learn from it, you know, but I didn't mean to throw you guys under the bus or have you, like, think that you can't trust me, because that's not it. Because no matter what they think, my loyalty stands right here, and it always has, and it was always going to be, period, end of discussion. No, you're not your girl. <laughs> my <Don't> hair. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. Understandable. I didn't mean for that to happen. That was not my intention at all, you know? <laughs> to throw you guys under the bus like that, it wasn't at all. God works mysterious ways, you know what I mean? Natalie, your turn. Um, first, I'd like to say thank you, Big Brother, for this experience of a lifetime that I'll never forget. And um, to my boys, I am sorry I have made some mistakes, but um, I love you, and you know my loyalty stands with you, so please, please keep me in the house so I can continue to play with you and see the mini table. <laughs> thank you. I vote to evict Natalie. I vote to evict Sharon from Big Brother House. The votes are in, and we have a tie. One vote to evict Natalie. One vote to evict Sharon. Sheila, as the current HOH, you must cast the deciding vote. Just a reminder, ladies, once Sheila reveals her vote, the evicted house guests will have just a few moments to say goodbye, gather her belongings, and walk out the front door. Sheila, please stand, face the two nominees, and cast your vote to evict. Well, um, Natalie, you just told all of America and everyone in this house where your loyalty lies, meaning that I stayed this week and you would evict me. You did say that in the back room, that I would be on the block. And I can't risk this right now where there's five people sitting here. I cannot risk this in my game right now. So I'm sorry, Natalie, I am evicting you. Everyone knows Jacob and Sharon and Ryan and Jen were two pre-existing relationships in the Big Brother house. But there is a third pre-existing relationship still in the house. Answers, please. The correct answer. The correct answer is fact. There is one other pre-existing relationship still in the house. We have a tie between Ryan and Sharon. So Adam, I'm going to ask you to step down. Ryan and Sharon, 
We're going to a tiebreaker. Please pick up your boards. Congratulations, Ryan. You're in the new head yes. of household. <laughs> Sheila Hanno. Me and Adam agreed that we're going to make this a split vote. And Natalie nor Sharon needs to know who voted which way. This was to put the blood on Sheila's hands. And Natalie, you know, going to the jury house didn't need to know who voted where. I vote to evict Natalie. I vote to evict Sharon from the Big Brother house. House guests, the votes are in, and we have a tie. One vote to evict Natalie. One vote to evict Sharon. Sheila, as the current HOH, you must cast the deciding vote. Natalie, you just told all of America where your loyalty lies, meaning I cannot risk this in my game right now. So I'm sorry, Natalie, I am evicting you. <laughs> she felt totally let down, totally betrayed. Totally screwed over, man. I feel bad for her. She was crying her eyes out. It was real hard to give her a hug goodbye. I had to. I'm gonna miss her. This has been the hardest decision up to this point in the game that I've had to make by far. I truly felt bad today, you know, that I had to vote Natalie out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Natalie. Why did you guys do that? I don't know. Bye, Natalie. Bye. <coughs> Bye, Careful, say hi to everybody. some loyalty. I just haven't really seen it. I gotta be honest. Like, are you really on my side in this game? Or are you really looking to take someone else at the end of this game with you? I know I've done a lot to you, but I've apologized. And I care about you, and I wouldn't want to see you walking out that door this week. I wouldn't be able to live with myself if you did. I would not be able to live with myself. I wouldn't even want to win this game. I told you. I would end my own I don't know who to trust, but my heart got me this far. I think it'll get me to the end of this game. Think about that one. Yeah. You know what I mean? For sure. Hey, you won. That's one less worry, right? Gotta get me through to the final three. Yeah, good. I know. I'm almost accomplished here, right? Mm hmm. Dude, we're good though. Dude, so you did not whisper to Natalie. I, I said to her, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I didn't say nothing like that. So what do you want me to do? I thought you She's said, looking right at me, I thought, I thought, I thought you said I voted for you. No, I said, what do you want me to do? <laughs> When I when she walked out, I gave her a hug and said, "Yes, I said, I love you." Now that's it. I was watching your lips, dude. <laughs> Believe you me. <laughs> I didn't say no. I didn't tell Natalie I voted for you. I said, "What do you want me to do?" I believe you. I don't trust Adam. He's telling me that he said something else to her. I read Adam's lips when he looked at Natalie. He said, "I voted for you." Adam's denying it, and it pisses me off big time. And you didn't say to her. No, I felt horrible. I voted the bitch out. Horrible.
hopefully I can back my way out of this one, you know? It was a rough decision. I made a mistake, maybe big time. It could really affect my game right now. I have nominated Sheila and Sharon for eviction this week. I'd rather go at Sharon and be harder. Exactly. Maybe you guys can come to an agreement. Get you out. I'm bad at making agreements, dude. I'll talk to her and I'll see where it goes. My best case scenario would be to go to final three with Adam and Sharon because I'm pretty sure no matter who wins, whether it be Adam or Sharon, that they would take me to final two with them and that, you know, that has been my ultimate goal in this game. Listen, whatever you want to do, bro, I promise you, man, she's going. I'm gonna say whatever I need to, to whoever I have to, to get myself to the final two. I'm not gonna take a stand for somebody or put my neck out there for anybody in this point of the game because it'll be stupid to do so. I will not, bro, I will not do that, dude. I swear to you, put me in position. Let me ask you this. How can it? I trust you? Because I call them. Why wouldn't you trust me? Listen, I got your back, man. I don't care what anybody says, period. That's what it is. Well, I have your back, too. But, right. you know, I need to know that if you win POV, you vote for me to stay here. Right. Am I stupid? Am I a fool to, to trust in you this much? Oh, I do care about you. You're going to be fine. I just feel like you don't. I feel like you don't. I'm it scared. Will. I'm scared to be up on the block with her. The POV is crucial, man. It's crucial. You have to win it. The big POV, babe. Huge. What are you worried about? It's all about it comes down tomorrow, dude. Oh, I don't know, Adam. You're are you safe sitting always. On the block? You're safe always. You're not sitting on the block. But I'm still am. at risk. Still at risk, Sheila. But I do have the spine to forget a big tur over you. That's really the answer here. That's what I need to hear. I can't tell you how many decisions you've made in this game where you pissed me off. Because you want everybody to like you, Adam. Sometimes in a game, you got to be an evil person and a mean freaking person. And I got news for you, buddy. You're going to have to get your hands a little dirty or you're not going to win this game. You're good, Sheila. I'm going to keep you in this house if I am the voting party, OK? I will send Sharon back. I want to trust you, Adam. Yes! Ah. Woo! Yeah! You're Woo! done, Chloe? No, you're not. Ah. Woo! Bottom line, whatever you want to do, you can do. No, listen, I need to trust you, dude. I know that you guys, you and Sheila, we're partnered up. Just need to know that you and Sheila don't have Going on, you would pick so, me I mean, I don't know what I can tell you, you know what I'm saying? I have to, what can I tell you? you know but saying? you gotta understand, my trust issues I have a little bit with you. You're my boy and all, man, but I just don't know. Dig it down to final two. You won, I'd be worried that you would take over me. If you want me to get a shield, you don't trust that, I'll boot that out of the house, dude. I swear on the Bible or whatever. Uh, you know, bro. that's your decision, dude. I just need to trust you, dude. I'll get rid of shield now, so I know you'll take me, and you know I'll take you. I mean, whatever you want me to do, bro. I'm yeah. not mean to threaten you, but you know I could make one move and you would be bouncing out of it. But, dude, I but you totally control this. So you, if I wanted you, I could have you out. Adam has done things in the past that, you know, have made me definitely second guess his trust. You know how much I can really trust him, so I'm not sure if I really want to leave him with the uh, sole vote this week. Absolutely nuts. Dude, I gotta pick between you and Sheila tomorrow. Huh? That sucks, dude. What do I do tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know. If I keep Sheila, she'll probably take me to the end with her if she wins. Yeah, I don't know. You're trying to take Brian instead of me. No, I wouldn't. It's a lie. I'll keep you, take me. Hello, what are you talking about? Promise me I'll keep you. I don't, I don't want to make any problems. Okay. What, what, what is Ryan doing? Well, let's find out what Ryan's right. doing. Done. We'll figure out what he's doing first. Yeah. yeah. She was hesitant to jump on any kind of deal. She was discussing with Ryan first. She seemed in a way fishy that she might have something going with him. Because right. I don't want to be a liar. I'm not a liar. What if you don't tell nobody?
this up. I go to the bathroom, Baldur falls me in, and he's like, I'll talk to you, and I said, what? And he's like, I know she will take me at the end. She'll take me at the end. But if you shake right now, if you shake on it, and if you final two with me, I'll keep you. I don't know what's going on. I said, like, I don't know. I got to think about this. This is a lot going on right now. He's going to take her. I told you. I told you. He will stand by her or something. So fishy. That's what I'm telling you. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. And I really don't trust him now. Me and you have had something going on. We have, we've watched Jerry each other's backs for weeks. <sighs> he expects just to come to you this last week and, you know, get this deal from you now. He really has no loyalty to anybody. He doesn't. I got a decision to make. I Maybe I should take you off the block. I don't trust Adam. I don't trust Adam. What's up? Well, you know he's gonna keep the he's gonna keep the same. I need you to understand. I have your back in this game, and I have. If I win freaking HOH, you're coming to the end with me, not him. If she wins HOH, I guarantee you she's not gonna pick you. She will pick Ryan because she will win with Ryan. Do you get what I'm saying? Yep. I wanna stay in the game longer. And I wanna go with you. You're my only hope to stay in this game longer. This money's gonna change my life, whether it's $50,000 or it's a half a million dollars. You know I need this. I've had your back, Adam. I hope you got mine. If you do one thing right in this game, Adam, I hope you do. I hope you keep me. Trying to cut deals now, no, right? I swear to you, dude. As he didn't say a word to her, right? What's Shannon say, dude? Dude, she listen I, to I, this. I, she, I tried to tell you. What we she have said here's our I'll deal. I'll tell you exactly. Me and you what she said we're to me. gonna go to the end. And to the end. And, and now you're trying exactly to cut deals behind my back. I said exactly what she said to me. She said, "What do you think? What are you gonna do?" I said, "What do you mean? What are you gonna do?" She said, "You're gonna take Shield out because she'll probably keep you." I said, "And you're gonna say what? You gonna take Ryan?" She's like, oh, "Why would you think that?" If that was like, "Oh, you're gonna take me then." What the f she's saying? I said, do I try to cut deals with her? Yeah. No deals were cut to her. I said that to her. I didn't try to cut a deal with her. Dude, I don't know. I don't know. I, dude, I don't know. I honestly don't know if I can trust you now, dude. Why would I jeopardize myself right now by doing why. that? I don't know. I think you're looking ahead like you're safe for another week, dude. You're not out. Not water looking ahead yet, like dude. that. She was making it sound like you guys have something wrong. Like, I'm like, I'm like, she's coming right at me saying, yeah, I know. If he's a bitch, you're going to keep shielding the house. Da -da -da -da. That doesn't mean that we have something going on. That just means that you guys are last remaining couple. So I'm thinking to myself, you know what I'm saying? Why is she saying that to me? You know, after I hear this, that you're trying to cut deals with Sharon, dude, then, you know, I think about this, man. Maybe I can trust dude. her. Maybe I can tell her to f with Sheila. Maybe I can trust her more than I can trust you right now because I don't know <coughs> you Sheila. I have no qualms about putting Sheila at his pounce, bro. Done. Yeah. None. I try to cut no deal with her and say, yeah, if I keep you, you can take me at it. You know what I'm saying? No, bro. It's me and you to the end against this bitch. I don't know what to believe, dude. Put me in the block, I don't care. Dude, it's your decision, bro, honestly. I have decided not to use the power veto. Girls, not easy decision. Benefits, pros, cons, both ways. But I think Sharon will understand my decision. I'm evicting you from the house. Okay. Raise this thing up a little more, Steve. Stop it. Stop what, Sheila? What's up, baby? Hey, honey. What good shoe are you wearing about? We're here in the house right now, Sheila. You're on your way out the freaking door. Sheila, you were close. <laughs> Adam, as you are the only house guest who may vote tonight, the fate of Sheila and Sharon is now solely in your hands. Please stand now and cast your vote to evict. Not easy decision. But I think Sharon will understand my decision. I'm evicting you from the house. I was absolutely blown away when Adam decided to keep me. I really was prepared to walk out the door. I didn't want to cry. It's okay. 
This is the guy that I got set up with on the first day in the house, and I hated him. You know, it turned out to be like my best friend. Wow, the fact that we're still standing is blowing my mind right now. Wow. Since I did have deals with both Adam and Sharon, it's kind of Adam doing my dirty work for me, for me, getting rid of Sharon, and you know, there's no blood on my hands, I don't look bad. Yeah. Okay. Putting a gun ain't better for me. It was a good move. I got out a strong threat, and it solidified the bond between Sheila and I, ensuring that she will take me to the finals with her if she does make it. You guys, take care of my things, okay? Oh. Bye, Sharon. Bye. Have fun. Good luck. Final three. Thank you. Dang, Brian, it's just as so much as Thank you, guys. I was not shocked at all when Adam evicted Sharon out of the house about an hour before the eviction. And, you know, Adam came to me uh, with a different plan. I'm about to vote Sheila out of this house. What am I thinking? Sheila does not, has not proven herself in the past mentally. Sharon's on the verge of winning the last three HOH. She's been a question off. So why go against her and two mentals when you, when you can go against Sheila? And in my eyes, Sheila will keep me even if she does one, I'll go to the end. Well, I'm going to talk to him now, weigh the options out one last time before the eviction to see what's best for both of us. But in reality, I knew it was best for me. So what do you think? Think she's the best rid of? I think so. I think we stick with Brandon. I said we stick with it. Sure. We're fine, dude. I was thinking she'll stop me. She'll be out of here quick, dude. Jared got mentally locked up. She's too win. We both got Sheila whipped up, dude. She'll be nervous. She'll choke. And she'll think, oh, take me and choke drop in this competition. I'll win. Give it to you. I swear to you, I'll do whatever you want me to, but I think that'll be guaranteed easier. Yeah, maybe. I knew where he was coming from. I believe that he was being he's being totally truthful with me. All right. All right. It's an easier road for us to make final two by getting through Sheila rather than by getting through Sharon. Hit the dog, I swear to you. Bye, Sheila. Bye, Sheila. My whole body was freezing. So my, my decision was to fall so that I'm not sick and I can play in the next competition. Hold it, dog. Get on it. Woo! Of course, I just share you to her. That's fair. That's fair. By dropping out of the first comp, I've given up a lot here, but in the end, it's best that I win back Ryan's truck. I'm psyched. Everything is going to plan right now. Adam, you know, I've been questioning his loyalty. In this HOH, he let go to prove to me that, you know, he is going to be truthful and loyal to me. Good job, man. I'm in a great position in this house right now. I fell out, gave it to him, gaining Ryan's trust. Sheila thinks I'm with her. Ryan thinks I'm with him. I really don't care as long as one of them takes me to the final two. Adam, you will be moving on to the third and final round to face me. You kicked my butt. You did sorry. exactly what I thought. I'm sorry, Sheila. It's OK. I have to accept my face. I mean, huh? it lies in your hands now. That sucks for me. What can you but do, I, Sheila? No, I'll tell you what I can do. I know you're going to win. You're going to kick his ass. 
Are you gonna take some names? You know me, I want to count my chickens before they hatch, you know what I mean? I know that, I understand that. I want that, to take a sitting hand, man, I'm gonna do the best I can tomorrow. I'm like I know that, baby. He will not take me to I know that, I'm gonna do the best I can, man. You've got to win, Adam. Listen, I've been doing whatever I can to keep me in this game with me, baby. I ain't gonna stop now. Do you really want to take me to the end? Huh? Why wouldn't I? I trust you. Dude, we are the We're last couple. couple standing in this game. Do we do it? We won. <laughs> oh, me and you. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. The I man with the master plan right I here. I told you I had the plan, right? Woo! <laughs> Did I map it out to a T? You proved your, your loyalty to me <laughs> yesterday by doing that. One today. That's it. That's it. Told you. Game is over. Game's over. That's it. We said wait to get we wait to see who gets the most money. Yeah. What? I can't even fathom the fact that I'm winning five hundred thousand dollars right now. When he said he was gonna win a half a million, you know, I was a little shocked, you know? I was just like, hey buddy, you don't have this wrapped up. I think between Adam and I, it's gonna be a toss up who gets the votes from the jury house. And, you know, I think I might stand a slightly better chance up against Sheila. My fate lies in Adam's hands. I have to trust Adam to take me to the end. If Ryan wins this final round, he's taking me to the finals. If I win, I'm in control. I got choice, Sheila or Ryan. Right on the arm doing, she on the arm doing. I don't even know what I'm doing. Welcome everybody to the nomination ceremony. Do you know you're going on the block against Sheila? Yes. That's just done. I have nominated Sheila and Sharon for eviction this week. She cries about everything. That's her only move. She's a one trick pony, Sheila. Cry. Sheila, Sharon, tonight one of you will be leaving. Well, let's see the nail in the coffin. I think Sharon will understand my decision. I'm evicting you from the house. It is official. <laughs> Sharon, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Good luck. OK, back up and just look at the eye contact. Play, 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 play. Play. Just look at the eye contact with them. Right there. Shook his head. Adam shook his head. Actions speak louder than words. And to see Adam and Ryan make these little subtle eye contacts, it's so obvious that they're working together in their own little way. We caught him on camera. What? Adam and Ryan turned on Sharon. It was a great move. That's what Big Brother's all about, you know, backstabbing people. Maybe he was threatened by me and thought, OK, well, we better get her out. Well, his biggest mistake, I think, in the game was to turn on me. Congratulations, Ryan. Yes! I think you're both deserving for different reasons. Um, you know, there are reasons outside of South, so I feel like you could, you know, really use the money. And I, I mean, you, you did. You earned your way to where you are now, Final Three, Sheila. Adam, we've had a plan. We've been boys. We've, we've ran the show a lot of the time here. I think you're, think you're more deserving as far as gameplay is concerned. Um, I vote to evict Sheila. You know, you came into this house hoping to win $50,000 or half a million dollars, you're a single mom, it would change your life for you and your son. You're walking out with no money, but did you learn anything in this experience that might be more valuable than that money that you might be able to teach your son? Adam, I got a question for you. Shoot. What are you going to do with $500,000? What are you going to do with the money, Ball? I want to know why I'm going to give you a ball of more money. $100,000 of that money will start an after-school program for kids at home who are watching me every day. Secondly, I would love to start a business. Of course, it's 500 Gs. 100 will go to that. I don't bully BS nobody, man. A car will be a luxury, but guaranteed immediately when I get out of this house. Bottom line, I'll help children. I'll change lives. And that's why I'm on the show, period. All right, Ball, that's a very good answer. The same question back at Ryan. What are you gonna do with the money, Ryan? I wanna know what you're gonna do with 500 Gs. With the money, you know, I'm definitely gonna help my mom out um, a little bit. You know, she could use it. I'm gonna do something nice for her. Um, I'd like to do something nice for Jen and myself. And um, I definitely would look to, you know, put some money towards a charity. Charity. <laughs> you know, make some good out of my money that, you know, um, you know, that I got here, because like I said, that's a lot of money. You know, I, I, I'm just going to see, you know, the best I can do with it, you know? That's it. That was the worst answer ever.
All right, boys, good answers. I got some more people that want to ask questions. Ryan, I'm just confused. I just want to know why you had to feed me all of those things, knowing the fact after I saw the HOH tape, I saw you look at him and you know give that eye contact, like make sure you get her out. What was the point of feeding me all of that bull and then turning around and then making sure Adam evicted me over Sheila? No, Sharon, you were very loyal to me and I did not want you, I did not want you out of this house. I fought for you all week to, you know, and, and it was, it was the very last second thing. He's like, and my, I have a gut feeling. I don't know what to do. My gut's telling me to keep Sheila. And, you know, and, and, you know, I wasn't, I was not gunning to get you out one bit. I wanted you to stay. You know, I didn't want you out of the house. And I know what you're saying. It ultimately was my decision. I could have used the POV on you, but I wasn't hundred percent sure what he was doing. And honestly, all week I fought for you to stay. Ryan. Why should I give you $500,000 when what are you going to do? Are you going to propose to Jen who calls you out on television as somebody who is a hatred person? I'm confused. Do you want to stay with this person? All right, Chelsea, I'm not a racist at all. You can ask any of my boys back home. I do. You know, I love Jen to death. And, you know, when she did all that, I was not happy. I still love the girl and I want to be with her the rest of my life. And, you know, we plan on, you know, living together and hopefully starting a happy life together. I still love the girl to death. That's it. Wrong answer. All right, here we go, Adam. It appears that in this game, you've thrown several competitions and you have made Ryan do your dirty work a lot of the times. Why shouldn't we as the jury vote Ryan to win since it seems to me like he was more competitive, won more competitions, and he deserves it since he played harder? Joshua, this game is well balanced. It's a, it's a number of things. Not only competition, but it's, it, which is an outside in the backyard. It's physical, mental, emotional. It's well balanced. And to be quite honest with you, I did throw the first competition out there. The last competition we played head on head, mano y mano, man on man, right here in this living room, I gave my best shot and lost fairly to Ryan. I didn't throw that last competition for anybody. Not for me, not for Sheila, not for nothing. This game is not just competition, and you all know that. Screaming at the TV screen is not going to help you any. You I know, apologize, get the boat, you know what I mean? But you, know, you need to talk to us with respect and quit screaming. So quit doing that right off the bat. Okay? I want to congratulate you both first for being there. You guys struggled through the game. You had to do what you had to do to get where you were, and I support that 100%. Adam, what makes you a better competitor over Ryan, and why do you think you belong in the final two over Sheila? That's a good question, James. Um, I got dealt a bum deal from when I walked in this door, and I turned that negativity into positivity, James. And I think I took the bad and made it good. I overcame adversity, took difficult times, and made it positive for myself. You know, I was, for, for the most part, a straight shooter in this house. I minimized my risk, I won my need to win, and I got myself to the end of the game. And all in all, I walked in here winning, to, looking to win this game for a better cause. And over Sheila, I mean, it was a 50-50. I mean, I feel I brought her a long way in this game as well. For someone who put me down like that, for me to even forgive and forget, James, you know, I can't forgive and forget. I also did other things in this game which are more burdensome than just winning competitions. Hi, boys, it's Chatty. Oh, you guys, you're supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be there with you, you suckers. Hell, there's only two, Nellie. Okay, I know, but I meant to the final three. Baller. I've been hearing that you were scheming to get me out of the house, and I want to know why you didn't take me there with you to the um, final three. You got to respect the wishes of HOH, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't plotting against you, Natalie. They were forcibly plotting you against us. You throw me under the bus. Go ahead. We were honest with you. We had to meet with you. We tried to go on with you, and there's only so much you can do in the game. And it wasn't nothing hard feelings, you know? And I think I was honest and straight up with you for the most part. Okay, Baller, you're partially telling the truth, but you still did let the votes go to a split. Ryan, why did you tell me, Natalie, the only chance me and you were going to win this game is if we go final two together? You ultimately voted me out, so why should I give you the money, and why didn't you keep your word to me? I'm sorry, Natty. You know, when I said that, I did mean that. And if we did go to the end, it would be a very hard choice, you know, for them to make, uh, you know, between us. And that was one of the hardest decisions that I had to make of voting you out. And, uh, you know, I don't know, that's pretty much it. Okay, I'll take that answer. Thanks for the honesty. Figured. Um, Adam, here's my question to you. I wanna know why you lied to my face 
right in my eyes, looked me right in the eyes, Adam, and told me you were gonna take me to the end of this game when we were playing the three final HOHs. Why did you do I, that, Adam? I'm gonna tell and you. And then... I'm gonna tell you right now, Sheila. You lied and told me you were gonna take me to the final two, and that's that. For you to think that you took me to the end of this game, I carried you a long way too, buddy. I'm the one that saved you. I, I took that target off your back. Sheila, I understand, and I'm not saying that you didn't carry me. We carried each other equal through this game. I had to make certain deals, do certain things to keep you in the final three to give you and I a better shot at getting there, Sheila. That's what certain things that I had to say to, to, to make sure you stayed in this game to go to the final three, Sheila. I didn't throw that last competition. We got to the final three, Sheila. I mean, come on. I'm sorry you're not sitting next to me here, but we both together got as far as we could have gotten. I did the best I could to guess where we had it, and you had a fair shot in the final three competitions, you know? I mean, it's just hard on me that you're telling me this now, putting all this pressure on me again. Like, I'm obligated to carry here. And you know what? If I probably would have won, who knows what I would have done? But like, I always tell you, it's in theory, Sheila. I don't know what I'm doing until it happens. Adam, you did not carry me at the end of this game. I played a very smart game, too. You did. So I don't want you to take all the credit there, I'm mister. I'm not. OK? Please don't. I'm not. Because you didn't. Me and you were the last couple to final three. That's deserving of something, whether I threw comps, won comps, whatever happened, Sheila. You and I could have been sitting here, but it didn't work out that way. That last comp, I did try and win. I don't care what anybody believes in that jury house. Oh, really? You know, I did some things in this game that I wasn't necessarily proud of that I would have never done to my friends or people, but you guys know how it is. This is a very hard game, but you know, I feel like I played a good game, both mentally and physically. I won when I needed to, and you know, I'm not gonna say anything bad about Adam because that has not been my style in this game at all. I have never said, ripped anyone apart or said anything bad about people to further myself in this game. I feel like I've played a stand-up game. I've been a stand-up guy in this game you know, as much as you can. And I'm just fortunate to be here. And you know, if I don't win the money, you know, so be it. I'm sure everyone has their reasons. You know, if you vote for me or not, I thank you guys. And that's from the heart. I feel that basically you're basing your decisions on three things, personal relationships, gameplay, and what you're gonna do with the money. I feel that I'm bringing out of this house, every, every single one of you I have a different relationship with on an individual level. Um, as a group together, I'm sure things are being thrown around differently, but when I, when I talk and sat with each and every one of you, it's real, man. I'm bringing out of this house a piece of each of you. Whether it's sayings or things or this or that or ideas or thoughts or knowledge, I'm gaining regardless from you guys. I wish every one of us could be here. You know how hard it is. I mean, Ryan, I wish we could split it up right now and be done, you know? I think I played a well-balanced game, both mentally, physically, psychologically. I think I did what it needed to take to get to the end of the game. Ultimately, we all came in walking these front doors by ourselves with an idea to win this game. And I'm sitting in here in the chair, and I apologize that you're all not. And the game has not been easy. It's over for you guys, but it's not over for us. Wow. Mm. That's it. Okay. I got to weigh my options. This is a tough a decision than I thought. Adam, I mean, the way he's acting right now is so cocky and arrogant, I can't I stand it. I told you. I cannot stand him. I think you either get his attitude or you don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. see, I, so you don't, you don't understand him. Like, I, he's not talking to me with attitude. That's ball. Yeah, I'm just really frustrated right now. And I honestly don't know where I'm going with the way I vote. Adam said that, you know, the game is over for us. Is it? Because we decide which one of you gets the money. Right. Jen, I want to begin with you. You were put in the uncomfortable position of seeing your boyfriend, Ryan, paired up with another woman in the house, Allison. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Allison? Honestly, my thoughts on Allison have not changed after watching the show. Which is what? I, I don't care for her. <laughs> Why not? She definitely thought she was a better match for my boyfriend than I was. She told him that several times after I was out of the house. She asked Ryan several times what he saw in me and how I could be, how he could be with somebody like me. So my thoughts to Allison have not changed. Allison, do you still feel you are a better match for Ryan than Jen? No, I think that Jen and Ryan have a great relationship. You know, I really have no hard feelings towards Jen. I think that, you know, things were unfortunately put in our, you know, 
in between us. And you know, with something as large as loving somebody being put in between you, it's it's different. I saw a side of Jen that I didn't care for in the house, but I mean, I don't like have what? anything. I just thought that the things that she was doing, trying to sabotage Ryan's reputation and things of that nature, weren't exactly um, the the acts that you would do if you loved someone. I mean, calling him the name she did on television and things like that bothered me just because I was mm -hmm. linked to him. I never had any feelings for Ryan, so let me bring know, in just, Ryan. Hi, yes. Ryan. Hi, Julie. Don't worry, I'm not going to question you about the ladies. All I right. do want to ask you about um, Adam. You had your suspicions about him and what he said to Natalie when she got evicted. So let's just set the record straight. Watch this. <laughs> yeah. House guests, the That's votes are in, and we have a tie. They got me, bro. I whispered to her, I, I vote for you or something like that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh oh, Adam busted. Oh. You want to say anything to Ryan now, Adam? He knew. Come on, you know what I mean. He's like a pimple <laughs> over his eyes. Uh, well, Adam, I have a little tape I want to play for you. Do you remember that day when you were consoling Joshua? He was crying over his pizza. I think so. <laughs> Take a look at this. Oh, this better be convincing. <laughs> crying on cube is very easy for me. No one, no one's dead. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get this <laughs> It's time to crown the winner of Big Brother. Adam, yeah. Brian, I'm about to reveal the votes. One of you will win $500,000 and the other $50,000. You will need at least four votes to win. And here we go. The first vote cast by Matt goes to Adam to be crowned the winner of Big Brother. Natalie has cast her vote for Adam. The next vote cast by Joshua goes to Ryan to be the winner of Big Brother. Sharon cast her vote for Adam to win the game. So far, we have three votes for Adam, one vote for Ryan. Sheila has had cast her vote for the winner of Big Brother is Adam. Adam, you better do some good with that money. Oh, you know how I do, Julie. What are you going to do man. with that money? I'll get the United Autism Foundation $100,000 to help these children at the school program. Good for you. Yes. Right. And just for the record, the last two votes cast by Chelsea and James both went to Adam. So, Dude, I Brian, love you guys, man, so much. You know what I mean? All of you guys, thank you so much for having me be here, man. Seriously. Hey, boy.